welcome back to the Amber Wars. A quick reminder before we get started tonight to go to Threadmancer.com and use the promo code Amber Wars at checkout to get free shipping on all orders over $25. They just came out with an awesome new Witcher patch, and they have also upgraded... God damn it, Ryan. And they have also just upgraded their... Uh, uh, D and D patch selection to include races as well, so you can get a class and race patch. You said D and D You too. <laughs> I did too. Maybe don't talk too fast. <laughs> <laughs> so last time. <laughs> last time. Having entered the final leg of the Krilden 500, you all managed to get to the final final stretch in the icy canyons and through some usage of flight and animate objects you took down the massive <laughs> ice devil commander of Levistus's forces and won the race which Garion immediately used to uh, incite a revolution that he had been planning uh, for a long time it seemed. In those uh, heated moments uh, Levistus resurrected this giant titanic construct of some kind from the bones of Stygia and a giant fight began as uh, Testrazog ushered you all to I just keep looking at it <laughs> Testrazog ushered you all to a tent running through the crowd and offered you a way out of Stygia via the elevator or by uh, plane shift George oh I thought it was Bowie growling at something. Um, deciding to head up one layer to Flethegos, based on the rumors that Desmond had heard about there being a uh, visitor that sounded a bit familiar to uh, the figures who destroyed his home, you all moved up to Flethegos, where you now stand. Every time you say Flethegos, in my mind, I like replace it with, um, what's it? Well, clearly, I don't replace it with anything because <laughs> I forgot. I block it out. <laughs> Muspelheim, that's oh, what I yeah. replace it with in my it's brain. basically that. Mm -hmm. um, lava like land. <laughs> I replace it with Shark Boy and Lava Girl. <laughs> <laughs> Taylor Lava. Taylor was best for a while. Oh my god. <laughs> Shaky. Shaky Graves was in that movie. You played one of the children. What? One of the other children, yes. <laughs> Fun fact. No, wait. Sorry, it was Spy Kids. I oh, love which one? Oh, same one. Uh, yeah, <laughs> first or second one. Same, I mean, same director. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wait, I thought Spy Kids Both and are equally Shark Girl upsetting. and Lava Girl were yeah. like all the same no. universe. I mean, honestly, I that's easily same forgiven. Same studio or something. Though, same yeah. director. Spy okay, Kids director. and Machete. It's the same universe. It's the same yes. universe. Though. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes. yes. 100%. With Spy, Spy Kids and anything with Danny Trey. In it, yeah. the same universe. Is Machete a kids' movie? No. <laughs> no. No. Is Machete a kids' movie? <laughs> you might want to Google that. Let's talk about God, I don't know anything about I'll watch these Machete movies. with you. <laughs> it's a good movie. Oh, God. God no. Welcome to our podcast where we talk about <laughs> Is oh, Machete a kids' movie? Welcome to Trejoverse. <laughs> Into the Trejoverse. <laughs> Actually, though, <laughs> I'd listen to that. That's not bad. <laughs> oh, Someone right. do that. I don't want to. Looking around. <laughs> we all look like Danny Trejo. <laughs> <laughs> There's a giant Danny Trejo. <laughs> there is no sky. Only the black cave ceiling hundreds and hundreds of feet overhead. Black smoke curls and the potent reek that the carcinogens and brimstone blow on an ever-changing wind that burns your exposed skin and stings your eyes. Looking across this expanse of charred landscape and ashen fields, you see rivers of magma slowly crawling in a never-ending journey through Flethegos. Besides the tiefling and drow contingent marching along the main road, which you can see maybe 500 feet or so away, you see posted 150-foot tall metal rods with three perches atop them. Sitting on them, one looking forward down onto the road, the other two gazing outward to the wasteland beyond, you see spined and winged devils. <clears throat> Spanning beyond, you also see the large numbers of drow and tiefling troops and their commanders. 
tall horned devils with two pronged spears which seem to have a permanent searing glow on the spikes at the end of them. The troops who march along move wagons pulled by massive hellhounds, more warg-like than dog. And chittering and squabbling among all of them are dozens and dozens of imps. Some sit on the shoulders of the assembled group, some skitter along the marching soldiers trying to pick pockets only to be kicked off the bridge and into the magma below. Looking to your right, you can see the city itself. So, on the map, you guys are located here, uh, down in this area. Is the red land or is it lava? Yeah. The, le- the red is lava. Okay. okay. Floor in lava. The floor is lava. <laughs> <laughs> You are currently up to your waist in magma. Make a constitution <laughs> saving throw. <laughs> you take 67 points of damage. Also, you're burning. <laughs> well, melting. Can be two things. Sure. Things can be two things. <coughs> Tanner, 2020. You <laughs> well, currently have uh, oh, some right. cover from the main road, as Testra knows the Nine Hells very well. He was able to move you up a level to be out of sight uh, from the get-go. Hmm. Currently, Tester is still with you, along with Theon. Um, what would you all like to do? So Where we're is... Go ahead. Sorry. We're outside of the city? <laughs> yes. Okay. I would like to walk towards the city myself. Why? Because... <laughs> because... Um, I, I mean, we can't just stay out here. We. The last time we went into a city in hell, it was full of impaled bodies on the walls. And? I mean, we are in hell. We're not going to get much better than that. This is a little more classic hell. A little warmer. I kind of like the idea of not being around things that might kill us until we know whether or not they're going to. Uh, Testra? Yes. Come again. Will they kill us if we walk into this town? Um, not on sight, no. If you present some form of opposition to them, uh, they will probably not take it well. Uh, the Arkender stronghold is sort of a bastion uh, as of late for uh, several uh, different contingencies, not just the drow you see here. Um, they have uh, begun to collect various uh, groups of people and are uh, slowly building their city outward. Um, Westward expansion. (coughs) uh, What is west? (laughs) Radial expansion. Ah. Oh, urban sprawl. Yes. (laughs) (laughs) Wait. There we go. All right. I wanted to bring you, you into the city. You could, yeah. Oh my goodness. Oh, they, they have a very distinctive audio spike. <laughs> <laughs> Between those and Bowie barks, I know when they're coming. Um, and certain ones of us laughing. Yeah. Uh, if I were to bring you into the city, I could just bring you into the immigration offices and you could spend some time Get in. Get a visa? What is. But we're landowners. <laughs> Uh, I could get you a uh, pass to spend some time in the Arkender stronghold if you would like. Remind me, what are we doing on this level of hell? What was our our current plan is to uh, obtain some any information we can on the Lord of this hell. Uh, the main reason for that being uh, that they're somewhat related to the the being that. Uh, is currently plaguing your plane as well as my home plane. Aren't they brothers? Yeah, they <laughs> are brothers. This is not the ice cream. Where did you, you, you get that ice cream? You get that ice cream? <laughs> There's a Hagen Dazs semi truck half sunk into the lava. I gotta eat it now before it melts. <laughs> it's just snow cones left over. <laughs> <laughs> he brought it from. <laughs> <laughs> Must have been somebody's birthday this week. <laughs> Aren't they just brothers? (coughs) Brother? (laughs) Yeah, but you know, bad brothers. They're like mean and evil. Like they're bad to each other or bad? Well, I mean, they 
Christmas. Are they bad both? at being brothers or brothers that are bad? I mean, you sit Are you at right? Christmas? What? We all saw one of them. What right? is one Christmas? Them, yes. Wait, where? Well, she know what they're capable of. You're being big? Well, I'm ripping holes in the fabric of space time, yeah. Yes. That's the end. I witnessed one riding horse. <laughs> I don't know what a horse is. <laughs> I don't Fair. Know. Wow. <laughs> no, it wasn't a horse. It's a horse. A riding horse. Riding horse. He rode horse. I don't, I don't know if you would like them. It just sounds worse for some reason. Like Do horses and elephants get along? This is my horse. There's only horse. one way to find out. <laughs> some places, I'm sure they do. This is a deeper philosophical question that we're not prepared to answer right now. Guys, it's about time. 2020, horses, peace between horses and elephants. Let's make it happen. Our goals are low. <laughs> Please donate to our Kickstarter to uh, broker a peace between horses and elephants. This Kickstarter is not a fraud. <laughs> this fraud is a Kickstarter plate. Oh, oops. Take a dinner. Anyway, I guess we'll go to the city. Well, I mean, is that where... Ball, I'm going to call him Ball. Ball? Yes. Ball. Belial? But, no, what? Sorry? Ball? More like a ah. Ah? Ball. Ball. Yeah. Ball. 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 Who Ball. is saying this? <laughs> Testra. <laughs> it's a passerby. <laughs> Just some imp it's runs Ball. <laughs> Ball. It's Ball. 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 Like a wild sheep all over the <laughs> Hell sheep. Like the rubber thing that you kick and it's round. Um, a ball. Sure. Why not? Oh, Very well. Um, if you all follow me, um, just keep your heads down. How Go far ahead. away is this? You said drow and. Up to the main road, it's probably like 500, 600 feet. Okay. Um, and then from the main road, you definitely need to take the main road into uh, the gotcha. Arcana Stronghold. Looking around the base of this city, uh, you can see the main part of it is raised mm. uh, up above what looks to be like a labyrinth of twisting canyons made from igneous rock. Nice. Um, what sort of igneous rock? The black ones with the pores. Pumice? Sure. <laughs> that one. Don't let her... Don't let her ask any more questions. All of it. Pyroxene. That's far oh my. <laughs> Those are the three minerals of which most of the Earth is comprised. Boom. Well, you're not on Earth, so suck it. Uh, making your way out toward the rock. <laughs> Fantasy rock. Yeah. Fantasy <laughs> volcano <laughs> rock. Oh. Um, Fantasy rock? Oh. <laughs> Boo. Bad. <laughs> no. As you all make your way up to the main road, um, kind of getting a higher elevation because this road is very much uh, raised up above the uh, slowly creeping, just massive sprawling lakes of magma beneath it. Uh, as you get to the top of it, you can see it's sort of like a very heavily enchanted glass of some kind. Um, and as you begin to make your way Toward the city. <laughs> Everyone make a perception check. Ooh. 18. 26. Holy crap. Okay. 22. All right. My first roll was a new year. 17. Hey, yeah. 22. 17. Forget 17. That. Two that I got. 17. Wow. The 16, the lowest roll. <laughs> Your 17 was the lowest roll. Yeah. All right. Uh, as you guys approach, you definitely see the um, city kind of sprawled out before you. Uh, the Arkender Stronghold, or uh, Ira, you would probably know that it's called the Charred Hall. Okay. Uh, really original name. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, I, I'm guessing it's Charred. Yes. <laughs> no, it's the, it's the one pristine building. Yes, the one building that's no, 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 no. Char like Swiss chart. Oh, <laughs> yeah, like, uh, yes. Hydroponics. Yes. <laughs> Jesus. No. Hot Swiss chart. Yes. 
This is bad. This is hell. <laughs> <laughs> um, as you approach, you can all see that <clears throat> the portion around the stronghold seems to be like the original build, not a very large area initially. Um, however, it does seem to have other expansions built into it that are not of a uh, hellish construct. Uh, looking ahead, you can see elvish architecture, uh, some dwarven architecture, even some architecture that maybe if you've done some reading in the past, you would know it to be from the uh, elemental planes of the earth and the air. So if you're a nerd. Yes. <laughs> And kind of sticking out before you, like, on the outer edge, it seems to be the most recent addition. You see a piece of city that you recognize. You see the rich harbor district of Kinlo. The entire to the bit? City. They got cut off! Yep. Do we recognize oh, so it's it? not like we could walk With into those perception Kinlo. checks, I would say yes. Okay. <laughs> Look at us from your film. Yeah. Oh, this is like this. patchwork. <laughs> so we couldn't like walk into Kinlo and then all of a sudden be in Earth again. <laughs> right. Back in Earth Prime. Uh, That's definitely how that works. You don't know yet. <laughs> there. Looking between the <laughs> sections as you make your way through the gates, you guys are obviously getting some looks from <laughs> the uh, the local forces. However, what like. I mean, obviously. You're getting like. What is everyone? What is the crowd? Drow? Um, a fairly large combination of drow, um, tieflings, and then like the overseers, which are like the tall, two horned. Uh, um, I'm going to switch to my uh, demonic, demonic form. form. Yeah. All right. Uh, as you. <laughs> what if you looked at? <laughs> <laughs> um, You're walking with us. You'll have to. Yeah, I'm going to like, hang back a little bit. <laughs> When you do that, to, uh, Possible when you ship into your ship, ship? Into your, uh, ship. when I sh- when you ship, uh, <laughs> can't stop me. John. Do you? Uh, <laughs> I would never stop anyone's ships. Uh, do you maintain? Does I maintain like their clothing and stuff? Um, he has like a separate nope. like look. Okay. Yeah. Just wondering for the it's reason we discussed. Yes. Okay. No, he would not be at, like it's a much. Less bulky and okay. outdoorsy. Yes. Okay. He's and wearing a vest though. by Eddie Bauer. Yes. Yeah. He's wearing um, Birkenstocks and socks. <laughs> <laughs> One fa- older he's, tiefling. He's nice. dressed like a fancy lad. Is what he's dressed <laughs> and are you saying Birkenstocks and socks? <laughs> oh, not fancy. Yeah, I am. <laughs> the thing again. Just pour it. Just do it. Um. <laughs> So as you guys make your way through the city proper, uh, you can see that some of the denizens because we can't do this before the game. So hold on. Okay. You can see that many of the denizens of these cities look to be their original inhabitants or descendants of them. You do see elves and dwarves uh, within the city. You see. Um, a few genasi wandering about the streets, uh, mixed in with the tieflings and things like that. Uh, and as you kind of cross from section to se- section, you can see there is just like a large, just thick slab of metal that looks to just like somehow bonded the pieces together and uh, spans out across the city like a big metallic web. As you make your way through, you arrive at the Arkendra Stronghold. A massive, massive, dark looking cathedral. Um, made of steel and obsidian, cruel metal barbs fold over the top of the roof of this building like two hands clasping fingers. Uh, thin rivulets of magma pour down their sides and join in to sink down below the city, which you gather may be uh, how the massive canyons were initially formed uh, with the lava pooling at the top of it at all times. As you make your way in through the doors, uh, Tester leads you up a 
set of stairs to a small office. Uh, as you open it, open the door, you see two figures cramped together at one desk. A tiefling female, um, not really any horns to speak of. Uh, their hair is uh, braided in a mohawk down the back of their head, uh, cramped together with a drow uh, female as well, whose hair is uh, just kind bangs. Of pulled back in yeah, <laughs> <laughs> clean shaven head with just bangs. <laughs> <across> <laughs> the I'm rolling it to death. <laughs> Uh, I see my third tester says, <clears throat> Hello, I would like to uh, declare some travelers from off plane. Um, they, how many days do you intend to stay? Oh my god, we are in hell. It's the immigration office. <laughs> I thought we were just staying a day. A day? Okay. Just a day pass then? Uh, or uh, uh, is that 24 hours? Is that, is that like, do, what if I, I want to take a nap for like a while? Let's say two here. days. We could do a two-day. I could also it. use a rest, like a like a longer rest, like a long a, rest, like a, like a sleep, <laughs> like a like a long what rest. What sort of <laughs> intervals do the yeah. passes have? The tiefling sort of sighs. <laughs> I also sigh. <laughs> Fair Thank enough. You. In order to accommodate our interplanar travelers, we have implemented a twenty-four hour. Uh, time cycle so that you may uh, buy passes by the day, one of your uh, prime material days. Uh, <clears throat> so if you would like to do two days, we can do 48 of your hours, or if you need to do a week, we can do something like that. Uh, accommodations are provided uh, back down the road over in one of the uh, tiefling Neighborhoods, you will find an inn called called the something. It's got a name. It's, it's a good, good name, name too. It's a good name too. Um, you want me to pull up the generator? The abandoned violet. Mm, okay. That is a good name. Thank you. <laughs> what, what, what if my world our, has a, a sixty-nine unit cycle for time? First of all, nice. <laughs> <laughs> what plane do you hail from? Uh, J Jotunheim. Jotunheim. She flips through a couple of... Uh, yes, we do have a few of your uh, people here as well. Um, so yes, we could also accommodate for uh, a few of your days <coughs> if you would like to do that as well. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, whatever equivalent is to theirs, I can... Math. Sure. Uh, we can do that then. Um, while she begins to, like, fill out all these forms, the uh, drow begins to speak and... A tone that you can tell she is not pleased with her position here in this building or mm -hmm. having to share a desk with another person. Uh, I feel like that's racial stereotyping. I feel like here. we're at the DMV. Yeah. The big DMV vibes. Yes. Yeah, yeah hell. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, you are in the Arkenda stronghold. All dominion and rules that you brought with you are left at the door. Please try to sound more bored. All answer to Belial and Fianna, acting commanders of Flethagos. Please be sure to not cause any interplanar incidents, as you will be swiftly and promptly executed. Any questions? Yeah, how, how, what, is this like people travel here all the time? No. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yes, to the vacation hot springs. Do you, do you have a rule or law, like, booklet so that we could read up on the rules and laws so that we might not get executed? Are we here long enough that you need to know? Um, yes. You could always head this over to... Fenric's with us. We should know. If you need to look up the laws or anything like that, you can head to the Chimerian Archive over in the Earthen Genasi district. They have a massive library with heaps and heaps of knowledge. Massive library? <laughs> what was it called again? The Chimerian same Archive. You said that the same way you would say a massive erection. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, that's just something how that you know. How she says a massive, a massive erection. <laughs> what's, the name, what's the name of the 
name of the library? Chimerian. Again? Chimerian Archive. Library. Got it. <laughs> the library. <laughs> and what was that? Uh, that uh, tavern again? The uh, abandoned, abandoned violet. Abandoned. Violet. abandoned. <laughs> Flushing Violet. Flushing Violet. I mean, that's good too. That's across Don, the street. don't write that down. That's mine. That's right. That's the one that that's, I know. That's what I'm doing. <laughs> if you are of a mind to go and do some combat training to get out those violent urges you may carry with you, feel free to head over to the Cold Trove Proving Grounds. They are located in the Underdark portion of the city. Or. If you wish <clears throat> to get in on the nightlife, head over to the Sunken Fiend, a tavern that I'm sure you will find super fun. You can find it in the Giant District. The what? The, the, giant. the giant. No, district. no, the what? The, the Sun Sunken Fiend. <laughs> If perhaps you want to get some shopping done, you can always head over to the Wrathful Wraith. You can find that in the Shadowfell district to the north. It's not that hopping, but it's the only department store you'll find. And lastly, if you want to go see some of our various and assorted fantastical wildlife, please head over to the Flying Menagerie. This really does sound like a bunch of tourism. <coughs> yes. For a place that nobody comes to? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All of my gold was in those items. <laughs> we look back there. I have 25 gold on me. <laughs> oh my goodness. That's fine. We're still in house. That's so souls. Yeah. Is well, it? But I don't What's the money on this plane? Again, due to the high foot traffic from various planes, we can do an exchange rate for you. Congratulations. Uh, so you can also just spend your gold if you wish. I'm so confused. Most places take it. <laughs> if this isn't tourism, where does the high foot traffic come from? Um, I just work here. <laughs> it's not tourism. It's the planes themselves are being ripped out and moved. All the people who are in those locations are now stuck here. Why? I don't know. Why not? Sounds like a fun Friday night. Why, why the fourth level of hell? I'm sorry, did you want the sixth? I instead? thought that <laughs> sentence was going somewhere else, I'll be honest. Why the, f why the fourth, fourth level <laughs> of hell? <laughs> Watch your mouth. <laughs> You're a sailor girl, after all. <laughs> That's me. <laughs> um, oh, man. I'm so well, This has actually been very informative, and mm -hmm. it would be nice to have such a well-rounded uh, description of everything in every world that we go to. So, like, are the, is like... For those of us, who, who, for wow. those of us who can't follow along as easily as others. <laughs> very good. <laughs> I know, I'm the worst. <laughs> oh God, what's he doing? Oh, yeah, I don't know. Oh, we're in the city. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. He pulls oh, up okay. a prison. <laughs> <laughs> You're in jail now. Prison. You questioned our laws. You will be executed at dawn. Oh, my goodness. So, like, you said there's, like, districts. Are those just, like, were they, like, cut, pasted from the original place? Make a persuasion. See if they're willing to uh, make a technology check. See if he knows what a cut and paste means. <laughs> <laughs> Eighteen. Eighteen. Oh, yeah. Yeah. The uh, the machinations of Fierna since she has taken the throne, while beyond my uh, sort of scope of employment uh, to understand, uh, has been she has uh, been collecting uh, large chunks of. Uh, different planes to expand her city. The reason I do not know. I mean, it's cheaper than hiring labor to build buildings, I guess. I suppose. Uh, the drow contingent that you've seen throughout the city have been a massive uh, volunteer force uh, from their leader. Uh, something involving a uh, interplanar cult or something like that who have been uh it's the leader fly around on a big bone dragon the drow leader uh has been seen with a uh skeletal dragon yes 
Okay. She's not allowed to bring him inside the city for obvious <laughs> security reasons. <laughs> what? Oh, no, this, is the, this is the first time I'm hearing about this skeletal dragon. You thing. saw it! You oh, saw it with yeah. me! Oh, yeah, yeah, good point. At Kilo. Yeah. 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 What's Kilo? Yeah, 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 you weren't well, there. Explain. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll explain. We'll explain in a minute. There's going to be a lot of this in the upcoming campaign. Oh, dang. <laughs> <laughs> I've thought it before. I didn't say it. Wasn't that? We'll discuss. We that didn't later. know. We, we I was gonna know. say we don't know. <laughs> you two are in the clear. Okay. We I've don't wanted know. to have that conversation for months, but I've been on Skype. <laughs> <laughs> you also don't know. You just you saw the dragon, but we don't know. I know more than you will about some. Look, you gave him. <laughs> Wow! Yes. What? Because the Arrested Development Chicken Dance. Because the the opening the opening was was Roland with. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. It's you, Virio, Roland, and crew. And crew. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yep. That's what I'm talking about. Oh yeah. Virio's the last one. Yes. That's what I'm talking about. I'm very as many now, so can I have his memories? Oh, no, sure. so that, yeah. so those you dragons. Have his memories? What is <laughs> <laughs> his memories? His what? memories? <laughs> All as and yeah. have have memories. <laughs> oh no, they were probably saggy. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, from a life of giving birds milk. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Aren't you thirsty? <laughs> Just callous. This went in a direction that I don't like. I did his nipples. Oh no. I did his nipples. That's the worst. <laughs> Runners get them. So the drow that That's was riding the items. dragon. <laughs> The chitinous nipple. I don't want it. You can have it. Oh, yeah. yeah, no, okay. we've seen we've seen right. the leader. And so they, oh, that goodness. leader got brought here. Well, she is so in charge of acquisition. For Fiona. So she mm-hmm. hangs out here. She's about the city from time to time, yes. She would spend most of her time up in the uh, royal halls, up in the rest of the charred hall, which oh, okay. is so uh, sh- off limits. Oh. Are they charred? The, the charred? <laughs> the charred? Yes, charred. The charred? Charred Swiss hall. Charred? Yes. Yeah. The Swiss charred hall. So, so she's the one that goes to the different planes and brings pieces bits? back here? Yes. Yes, the bits. So that yeah. must have been what... She was that was happening for when we saw King Lo go. <coughs> oh, <Hello. laughs> go. Go gone. Go uh, gone, girl. Go gone, girl. Uh, excuse me. Um, I have another question. Uh, yes. Does that mean that uh, Ball? Am I am I saying that right? <laughs> uh, is he also up in the Chard District? <laughs> The charred hall. <laughs> I make a persuasion check. Oh my goodness. Uh, the incredible, like, old man energy coming 19, out of that. 19. Yes! There has been a uh, visitor to uh, the court lately. Um, I've, I've heard the name sort of mentioned among some of the staff in the area. Um, Ball is not someone that I'm familiar with, but uh, he has been attempting to see uh, Queen Fierna as often as possible. They bang it. <laughs> like Make a history drums. check. <laughs> that 20? Oh, yeah, they fuck. <laughs> yes! It's good! Just hand her the book. Just hand her the book, John. Here's a picture. Here's another position. That's, oh. that's twenty plus five. Oh my goodness! Uh, I read my fanfic. Yeah. How does how you does Kismet? Kismet. Sorry, yeah. Kismet? No, you know what? This is very on brand for Kismet to know. <laughs> you would know that Fierna is actually engaged to the daughter of of, uh, of Asmodeus, uh, Glacio. He's the one we're supposed to get on our side. Potentially. I wrote it down. Get Asmodeus on your team. There you go. It must be true. <laughs> Kelly wrote it down. I'm 
To be fair, she has really important and stuff written down. She does. does. <laughs> Honestly, that's a good point. <laughs> if it's if it's written down by Kelly, you know you need it's to know a big it. But I also wrote, to wrote, I also wrote <laughs> <laughs> abandoned pilot in in lava realm. <laughs> no. Remington? No. <laughs> Question mark. No, about Asmodeus, though, I also wrote, Asmodeus, everyone's scared of him. Levistus is very scared. A slamming 25. <laughs> I don't know what a slamming 25 is. <laughs> Asmodeus. <laughs> he's hot as well. Oh, yeah, he's the most okay. hot, beautiful he's of all the demons. I, I, I do remember. Yeah. 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 A slamming 25. Yes, his daughter and Belial's daughter are engaged. Okay. Wait, so Wait, they're not banging. Bal or Belial? Our Belial is Fierna's father, oh. the ruler of Flethegos. Oh, that's Bal not complex at all. Is yeah. a visitor. Bal is a visitor in the court. And they're yes. t almost in laws. Yes. Like parent in laws. Yeah. They're not fucking. <laughs> I see. You don't know. They have children that are. Potentially. Maybe they're waiting you for me. You don't marriage. know. Both can happen. <laughs> Are arranged marriages a thing? Would it be like an arranged or maybe. maybe? Maybe. I'm very tired. At this point, the uh, <laughs> Tifa woman is like, "All right." Is that in character? Do not I lose these. Not. If you are found on the streets Both. without one or a designated escort, you will be executed. Be executed, be executed in the morning. Right, that's right. Be executed. All right, here we go. Yeah. What is it? What, what is it? What is it? It is a small brown piece of leather Sorry. folded over, uh, and if you look on the inside, it uh, has a shiny, like fo like red foil uh, signet of a devilish tail encircling a set of red eyes. Cool. Do we get to keep these? In uh, the no, enchantment no, no, no. that uh, <laughs> holds them in place to give you that pass will fade. It will just be a tarnished brown afterward, but yes. Cool. Souvenir. Mm -hmm. I oh. tuck it, like, in my sleeve. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, I lost mine. I'm going to go find an <laughs> <laughs> And he's gone. <laughs> Oh That's the goodness. janitor's claw. What? <laughs> I don't care. I think he does it for the bit. He likes it. Ah, I see. It's fun. Uh, I guess. Is it? Um, <laughs> Is it now? I don't know, man. Uh, Roland, why don't you ask? Uh, I think it's fine. <laughs> why don't you ask Fenric to come out of the closet for you? <laughs> wait, wait! You could even open the door for him. <laughs> Is this good audio? <laughs> <laughs> Probably. Wow. Hey, future John, you're welcome. <laughs> Me Monday morning. Son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> what are those? Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, there's some pretty weird looking spies coming. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Oh. So, uh, if we were to point at a 24 unit time measurement what would it be right now i just need to synchronize my um watch <laughs> i look at his wrists she leans back and like you can see a wall now and it's got a bunch of like <laughs> <laughs> rudimentary clocks kind of like ticking oh, on it thank you um from which realm uh jotunheim well uh, i guess there's this where it's are you from? Approximately 62.34 in Jotunheim, uh, which makes it about uh, 9 o'clock. Material PM. plane. PM. Okay, that uh, was time. Post-midday. Yep. Evening. Yes. <sighs> well, if that is all, um, I'll uh, have your friend brought out of the supply closet when he's done in there. Um, <laughs> Don't rag, kicking uh, and screaming. Don't, don't go in too soon. <laughs> <laughs> we'll give him a 20 minute head start. Yes. Head start. Head start. <laughs> oh, no. I don't know, honestly, he might fall asleep. <laughs> well, well uh, where are you going to be staying anywhere? Are you uh, planning on the. Uh, I mean, the abandoned Violet is. Abandoned in, Violet, okay. Is the we'll only one that we know of. Have him brought there then. The only, the, only inn. Yes. the only inn that we know of. Yeah. Where is it? Oh. I was going to ask uh, Tetra Strogan. <laughs> 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 Tetra. Yes. Tetra Pack here. Uh, yes. Uh, 
Well, do you have a place that we could stay here? I do not have a residence here, unfortunately, no. Uh, and I do have some other business to take care of. I will try to catch up with you uh, at the, uh, the end of the day, uh, uh, just uh, to check back in, uh, in case you do wish to use the elevator again. Okay. Sounds good. End of tomorrow. Yes. End okay. In end of the first hours. 24 hours, and then at the end of the 48, we're for sure leaving. Okay, very good. I will be, uh, I will meet you at the abandoned violet, uh, at the both junctures. We do have the, um, the, the present that you gave us, right? <laughs> and, uh, and I lean Tetra in, I'm like, uh, the thing, the thing that opens a portal. Yes, you know, yes. We, we have that, right? Yes. Okay. I believe, uh, your friend Kismet has it. Oh, okay, good. Just I'm so just cool. tapping my nose. So much skerfuffle, I forgot. Yes, it was quite chaotic. I'm glad we were uh, able to escape in one piece. Yeah, indeed. All of us, yep. Yeah. yeah, I would say skip that for business for a little bit. I may uh, <laughs> I may have to keep my, uh, my workings uh, on the uh, fourth and above for a while. <laughs> but... That's fine. Mephistopheles and uh, Hasmodeus <coughs> have plenty of materials anyways, so. Mr. Right. Mephistopheles? Mephistopheles. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry. He is a magical mystic. <laughs> Don't get it twisted. <laughs> this is cats. <laughs> this a giant cat demon is talking to you. <laughs> cats. Jason Durillo. <laughs> <laughs> Jason Durillo. It's Jason Durillo's edited out bold. <laughs> That's, That's talking just... bold. <laughs> oh. Follow me, everybody. <laughs> Why does it look like that? <laughs> Why does it move that way? <laughs> On second thought, I don't want the answer to that question. <laughs> Rum -tum -tum -tum. <laughs> uh, with that, you guys uh, make your way out of the... Uh, immigration office and head uh, down the hallway back down the road. After making your way down uh, you sort of looking around you can kind of gauge that this is the uh, the district you were told, the Tresgold district uh, that the uh, inn would be and sure enough you do see a sign hanging over the door uh, which confirms. Looking inside you see Wrong page. Tall, slender wooden columns which extend up to a fourth floor of the open lobby. A ceiling is a, ser a series of narrow arches all converging into a dome of sapphires, rubies, onyx, and emerald, making a beautiful mosaic of spiraling patterns which draw your eyes back downward along the pillars back to the lobby floor itself, which has the same design. Behind the intricately carved counter stands a devil, his dark green skin clashing somewhat with his blue pastel vest and mauve pants. His back is absolutely flush with porcupine-like spines which extend up to three feet behind him in some places and run up to the back of his skull to the tip of his long tail. Testrazog sort of gestures in for you all to make your way and he says, Again, I will uh, see you in 24 hours. Right here? Yes. All right. Perfect. As you stand in the doorway, the devil looks up to you and says, Hello, and welcome to the abandoned Violet. My name is Alastair Arzath. I am the proprietor of this institution. What can I do for you? It's about that moment that you all see a, behind you, you hear before you see a hulking demon walking behind you, stooped over, just rippling dark purple muscles and massive spines running down its back, two huge jagged teeth jut up from its lower lip, and <clears throat> they are carrying by their cloak Fenric, and they throw them into the inn. And stay out of the supply closet! And I turn around. You have a nice time? Uh, I don't 
Uh, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> Increments of payment are we making? Um, I we have gold. gather gold. Perfect. That will be just fine. Uh, it will be five silver a night. Oh, I can do that. Per room for everybody. Yes. Yes, for individual rooms. If you uh, choose to bunk up in the twins, it would just be split down the middle for you. Or one person buys one night, one the next. It's five silver per room. How much in souls? In souls, I would have to break that down where that is quite a bit of change. Um, one note. Perhaps you could borrow from one of your friends. The, the breaking down a, uh, a soul for I a know, room is kind of like, I don't think like do it, but also breaking I down like, do yeah, it. <laughs> like a $500 bill for like a stick of gum, basically. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, do you want to get a, a shared room with me? I slapped on sure. 12 silver with my tip for me. Thank you. Mm-hmm. And he hands you an iron can key. We, with can your we get one with two beds? Yes, of course. Yeah. What's my room number? Three. <laughs> <laughs> that was right. incredibly epic. Wait, was really good. <laughs> what if it doesn't even say three? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Okay. Budget rolls. Rolling doesn't matter. Does it have a key ring? Uh, yes. Yeah, I'm spinning it like Good. that. I dropped two gold. <laughs> Holy cow. All right, I also gave 12 money. silver yes. for a room. Very good. Thank you. He hands you your key and Fenric yours as well. And he oh, says, would you there too. like change? Would you like a suite of some kind? <laughs> <laughs> Oh. Perhaps one of our... Oh, is there, is there one available? Do you have the honeymoon suite? We have a honeymoon suite available. We Not also that one, thanks. Uh, <laughs> well, they all still, what, what are the other ones? If the honeymoon course, suite's a little suites. expensive, yeah, maybe he and Roland can share. <laughs> That's none of my business, I'm sure. Um, yes, we do have... Some executive suites on the upper floor. Uh, oh, yeah, that sounds have, great. Yeah, like one of those. Um, that would come to. Uh, yeah, I've been sleeping on a boat for a while. Wait, have we? <laughs> I slept on a boat <laughs> every day. You, <laughs> you guys, you guys, <laughs> you guys have not know, slept in a long time. We have not slept in so long. That's why I'm like, I'm so tired. Yeah. It's coming up on damn near exhaustion level for you guys. Like every step is agony. Yes. How much? How much for the suites? Uh, that would be five gold a night. Ooh. Okay. Here you go. I reach over Thank and put my hand on Kismet's ring. <laughs> he, he hands you a key that is like silver, but there's like golden inlay kind of mm-hmm. running down to the teeth nice. as well. It's a very nice key. <laughs> Same yeah. hat? Same hat! <laughs> well, just I've still got my hand on yours. Down. You can't. My own very room. good, sir. All right, I'll let you go. Are these Fine. like suits? I want to go to my room. Are they like simple rooms or are they like. Uh, Theon also this is why slaps I down a uh, few silver uh, for right. his own room. Uh, he's not said much this whole time. Uh, so, yes, making your way, if you do not have one of the suites, we'll get to your room in a moment. <laughs> uh, making your way up into the room, uh, you see it is a. It's a nice room. Uh, it's not like blowing away like your expectations or anything like that. It's like just a simple hotel room. Uh, one queen-sized bed, approximately, or for those wow. of you who have the splitsies, uh, they're two full-sized. Uh, Fantastic. Each of them have a window, which uh, for those of you who are on the ground floor, kind of opens them to a nice infernal garden area. Uh, you see, like, jagged dogwood growing up, these, like, bright, like, venomous level, like, purple and yellow flowers kind of growing around the back uh, this garden area with a large, uh, just deep, almost vanta black tree growing up out of the center. Hell is great looking. <laughs> um, 
<clears throat> there are dressers, there are small, uh, as you walk in, you can see like there's like a bell chain that you can pull if you need like any room service, uh, and they will come up to attend to your needs. Frederick, as you make your way all, all the way up to the fourth floor, the first thing you notice as you crack the door open is the emerald light pouring into this room from the beautiful glass ceiling. Uh, you see a massive jacuzzi in the corner. A king-sized four-poster bed with a mirror above it. Oh God. All manner of very, like, sort of like Venus de Milo uh, tiefling statues all over the room, uh, male and female. Um, you don't know. <laughs> Uh, the walls themselves are painted like a very beautiful gold color. Uh, mm -hmm. The floor is kind of a continuation of the big dome you saw on the main floor. Uh, it's this mosaic of these beautiful gems uh, with thick white fur carpets, oh, like airy yeah. rugs. <laughs> and yeah, <laughs> that's your room. Hell yeah. <laughs> Worth it. <laughs> you I just, just hear that echo from the top. I just imagine you like running to the bed and like. <laughs> and yes. Yeah, and I'm gone. And then worth it. Worth <laughs> <laughs> <Pass>. it. <laughs> yeah, sink down a foot or so. Yeah. I can't get that jacuzzi. I'll drown. <laughs> I don't know how big it is actually. Can it's better it not swim? You could probably I'd like. I never take my armor. Regardless, <laughs> like, so bad. It's, <laughs> it's a oh, nightmare no. under there. It, when oh. it rains, I just like. Oh, <laughs> no. oh no! If you were to like take it off, it's like not like a tan line. It's like <laughs> you can see through his skin at this point. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's like that what skin? My skin's changing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's that horrible through. boy when your feet get damp. And yes, oh, exactly what no. I was thinking. Yeah, well, like when your shoes get wet and you have to walk a couple of blocks and you take your shoe and off. It, and it's it like makes me so uncomfortable. I can't even have that be right and fix it. It's that for you. put your arms and your legs nope. and your chest nope. and your butt. It's not true. <laughs> they just never see me take off my armor. I do. I do. I'm a very clean boy. <laughs> It's I spray. swear, it's spray tan. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, rolled an 18. Oh, a very clean boy. I swear. He rolled an 18. I'll give it to him. He washes behind oh, his ears. God. Good. And nowhere uh, else. Does it wash behind your ears? No! <laughs> oh! That's that stink. Um, I always turn that my head. Ear I can't stink. Find it. Ear stink. Oh, my. With that, the uh, evening begins to. Uh, Sorry, the evening has <laughs> begun to creep into night. Would anyone like to do anything besides sleep? I'm going to finish all the whiskey that's left. Henrik <laughs> okay. had his hand raised for a second there. So. Tanner. Yes. Tanner. Tanrick. Tanner. Tantric. Wait, wait. No. Tantric. <laughs> And, and now we know something a little <laughs> more about Henrik. Sent from what I missed was the plan just to come in and sleep. Yeah, in the rooms. Yeah, yeah. and yeah. then do yeah. shit tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah. Get a fucking yeah. Take long a look rest. The city tomorrow. Long Tuesday. rest. I'm gonna hit the button now. I'm doing it. No, okay. am I allowed? I walked in and I'd like I would like tested out the bed and I was out. So. <laughs> oh, that's. <laughs> 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 that's <what> <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, all of you hey, may look, there's more than one pillow. take a long rest if you so choose. Uh, Theon makes his way to his room without saying much and closes the door and goes to bed. Why is well. it not working? Why is it not working? Anyone else? Pass. Give it, give it the door. Door. There you go. Sorry, guys. My bed's not going for it. Choo, 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 choo. As you all take your sleep. Roland. Yeah. As you begin to fall into your meditative state, mm -hmm. you hear a voice in your ear. You asked me to watch, and I have been watching, Roland, and I must say, you are an intriguing individual. Along with your companions, I have been very entertained. So I have something for you. A gift. From me to you. 
and you kind of open your eyes and you can see the live uh, leather bound figure of Mask. The room behind him begins to spiral and a swirling vortex of a tunnel opens up behind him and he begins to walk through it and he gestures for you to follow. I follow. As you make your way down this pathway, you <clears throat> walk down a path that seems to be mist, yet supports your weight as you follow. He walks to a complex looking machine of some ancient origin. A long, uh, stark white orb, uh, ovular in shape, held between a thick web of leather cords. Uh, he places his hand on it and it begins to twist in different segments and you see the area around you shift. When you look up, you see before you a very familiar scene. A burning home, two dead figures on the ground, and your much, much younger self, frozen in time, charging toward a heavily armored Othis. Mask walks up to your younger self and reaches towards the hand that you, your younger self has clutched a uh, dagger. And he pulls it out of your hand, but it looks like an ethereal version of it that he holds in his hand. <clears throat> palm and he extends it toward you. Twice now I have met you in this memory. Your memory. But should you and your friends keep on the path you're following, you should know that this story does have two sides. And you see the scene around you kind of begin to reverse and you lurch forward through Ravenwell as it burns out to the forest outside of the city. And you see the assembled forces uh, which would shortly attack your home. And you see Othis kneeling at the head of them, head pressed up against the pommel of his sword speaking to someone. She's the one that needs to be killed then. The pommel flashes this dim blue light and you can just barely hear this whisper saying, yes, I have seen her in my visions. She will be integral to the future. I have not seen how or why, but her weakness would threaten us and everything we have worked for. She must be destroyed. And Elvis replies, yes, Lord. It will be done. He sheathes his blade and climbs up onto his horse, turns it to face his assembled forces and says, the residents of this village have defied the decree of our gods. They openly worship the darkness of the abyss and spread filth across our lands. We will end them as we have done so many others, my loyal soldier, soldiers. Ride now, death and glory for Dinar, death and glory for the gods. And as he draws the blade back out, the vision starts to fade as you see the horses charging into Ravenwell, a village that would no longer exist after this day. Its citizens all killed or captured. It exists now only as a memory for a few and a line in an unread history book. As you look up, you see you have returned to your room. Mask sits on a chair in the corner and says, the pieces will begin to assemble now, Roland, and that, he points to the knife, which you kind of just now realize you've been clutching really tightly in your hand, that will come in rather handy toward the end. And he reaches up and pulls down his hood and begins to pull the mask that's just like skin tight off of his face, and <clears throat> you see his face, which is less of a face and more of just, like, scar tissue stretched across his skull. Uh, do you have any questions for me now? Uh, how did she survive that? I've seen her. I've seen... 
she was at the head of a column that killed hundreds, thousands, I'm not, I'm not sure, but how is she alive? How are you alive? <laughs> In order for us all to fulfill destinies, sometimes deals are made. Mm. I cannot speak to the specifics of why your mother is who she is, but looking around here, I would say that she's uh, certainly struck a deal with someone. It would seem that way. <coughs> um, Oath is... I believe it's fairly obvious he needs to be stopped, but if... If he was looking to stop her, does that... Uh, I can't mean that our goals are aligned in any way, can it? Look around this city. Or rather, you have somewhat looked around the city, and he, like, waves his hand, and the walls kind of, like, fade, and you can see this sprawling modge podge of different architecture around you. <clears throat> what does this look like to you? An eclectic mix of cities that don't belong here? Yes. Now, if the demons here and the devils and your mother's intent was to destroy these places, why... Why keep these these seeds of the other planes here? Preservation. Perhaps she knows that the forces that are at work seek to pull down the planes around them, and maybe if pieces of them are here, there's a chance to put them back. I suppose that makes sense. Yeah. Sometimes there's a heavy price to pay to save the things we want to save, but if this is the uh, way your mother has figured out to do it, then we have an old saying in the ancient pantheons. It is what it is. Very well. And he begins to uh, dissipate into sand and dust, and you come back to in your room. You hold out your hands. You think about what just happened. And two ghostly knives appear in your hands. <laughs> and you find oh, your true God. surname, Roland Ghost Knife. <laughs> Ghost Knife. Ghost, Ghost Knife. knife. <laughs> <laughs> Brother, join me. Wait, are we bad brothers? Wait. <laughs> Wait. Are we the baddies? <laughs> Hold on a minute. <laughs> Hold up. Oh boy. Uh, the rest of the evening passes by. You all have a very, very, very nice evening sleep. Right, let me hit that long rest again. Yeah, <laughs> take a second long rest. <laughs> Let's go. Is that, the most I make beautiful that change rest. Yes. I wish that it, I could do that. IRL. Yeah. Right? <laughs> okay. Double well, long going rest. to bed at 9 p.m. and waking up at 10 a.m. <laughs> no, just Guys, we're literally playing a fantasy game <coughs> where we're all like, thank God I we slept, slept all sorry. night long. Yes. Sleeping in a bed. <laughs> this is not real. <laughs> this is fantasy. It is fantasy because it's eight hours of and we have uninterrupted rest. <laughs> also, we have, I have so much money. 
Yeah, that. I have like a lot of money. In this yeah, game. John just arbitrarily I gave me not. like fifty thousand. You're the sugar daddy. I'm retired. Yeah. <laughs> it's only I'm a landowner. <laughs> this is why I'm called Ira because it's an iron. Yeah. Because it's yeah. Oh. It's a retirement fund. Is that is that really you're a why? Rock. You're, you're that's Wait. your last name. It wasn't me. Is that really <laughs> why? That your last name is Roth. <laughs> yeah, I mean it, it's not too far away. All right, I've got twenty three gold remaining. <laughs> <laughs> you Should can I just do it. In my, in my suite. No, no. There's I'm a large jacuzzi. Sh- no, I'm sharing a room with Ira. Oh, okay. Separate okay. bad okay. stuff. No, that's fine. No one wants yes. to. Come to my party. <laughs> Fenrir said, "Just like on the bed, like oh, <laughs> 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 you got like an open the... bottle of Curacao sitting out by the window, <laughs> like shot glasses Is lined there... up." You have... Look. <laughs> God, you sound so desperate. <laughs> 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 Invite everyone to my suite for breakfast. All right, perfect. Yeah, I'm next, asleep. Next morning, <laughs> predictably, uh, Kismet does not answer the I'm door. Having fucking mimosas. Well, at Fenrix. No, no just, mo- just mimosas. That was <laughs> 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 the yep. worst. <laughs> the worst. Do you, invite, do you invite Theon as well? Yes. Okay. He looks somewhat haggard when he comes up the stairway as well, and kind of sees the mimosas. And he's like. <laughs> Do you okay, Theon? Uh, yeah. Yeah. I feel now like he is. I feel as though... Do you point at the mimosa? Perhaps you are a little out of place in the hells. Yeah. Yeah. Not my, uh, not my bag. Not my, no offense to you, um, I, or your home. You just, fine. you're just different than when we first met. Yeah. Lived in hell for a year. More than a year. Not great for me. (laughs) (laughs) Just like right over his shoulder, like, he's fine. I'm (laughs) sitting there like, that's all right. (laughs) From like last time you guys like have seen Theon, like he's like kind of gaunt and just like these big dark circles under his eyes and kind of stubbly and haggard looking. (laughs) He like kind of put up a pretense when you first met him, but you can kind of see like that armor is kind of broken down now and he Mm -hmm. is just like... Would you like another mimosa? Yes, please. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> Would you like another mimosa? <laughs> thank you. <laughs> do, do, do you have any coffee, Fredbert? Sure. Yeah. Here you go. All right. Thank you. You're welcome. That's all I wanted. A nice Fantastic. black cup of coffee. Oh, well, there's there's definitely like some Kahlua in there. So. Oh. What's Kahlua? Well, I don't know. <laughs> you were like, I just saw I, it in the mini bar. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's like, it's, it's like, chocolate. I just I just mix and match and everything over here. The Kahlua like, and orange juice like did Kahlua. not work. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? The Kahlua and orange juice did not work. Honestly, that could work though. Like chocolate blue. oranges. Yeah, like like what Coffee if you have like an orange sorbet and you poured Kahlua over it? That would That's be That's not dope. orange juice. Yeah, but that would be dope. <laughs> orange juice. <laughs> Kahlua and Guys, peppermint schnapps. <laughs> <laughs> That's like when you brush your teeth in the morning. Yeah. Wow. Oh. That was There's it's a cocktail called the good morning. In there, Ryan. We gotta we gotta <laughs> dial Guys, in. there are boundaries, okay? <laughs> we have crossed them. We're this may be hell, like, but we have years ago. The peppermint Kahlua orange juice, juice yeah. mixture yeah. is just That's way really beyond good. anything yeah. anyone should ever think of. Thank you. Called the hangover. Uh, That's what I'm here for. Instead of a little paper Dang. umbrella, it's got one of those like hangover? flossing yeah. picks. Ooh, that's nice. I like that. <laughs> oh, a touch. Man. Cool quality touch. Ooh, it's served in a Listerine cap. <laughs> <laughs> now it's a shot. <laughs> Yeah, because you're never going to have it. It was always a sip. shot, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Oh my true. god. That was so never like, a sip and dump. <laughs> I, I, I love that taste, that flavor combo. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad we made the fantasy drink. Next session, I'll have them. For real drink? Is that oh, what you're no. saying? Yes. Yeah. Saturday. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> we'll start it off Let's with kick the off morning. That level. Yeah. Good. Oh, oh, man. So I can just do whatever the fuck I want. 
Uh, but yeah, yes, no. on Saturday. I'm gonna I make you all drinks. I have been. I'm on second call, but I'll have a stuck mocktail. here, and it hasn't been great for me. Glad we are making progress towards getting out, though. That's good. Do you have any? Yes. Oh, Roland, you here? Yeah. It, I've been here <laughs> the entire time. Um, Would you like a drink? Oh, God. Um, fine. No. Oh, Why can't you hold anything in your hands? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just still like... <laughs> just, I walk down the stairs. Hey, guys, how's it going? Ghost knife. Ghost, Ghost knives. Knife. Look! Ghost knife. No. Ghost knife. <laughs> So you're still you're not still holding ghost no. knives. The only issue is it only then, works when you stab the ghosts. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> oh, I it's just like punched. Some, you can only stab something in the ethereal plane if you're in the ethereal plane and you can see right. it. Right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Ghost rules. Were ghost you, rules suck. You just went to serious things. No. Just now. No. 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 no oh. Those were jokes. Okay. Never those mind. It was so your serious okay. voice, but it was yes. a joke. Okay. I can tell. I can understand the confusion. <laughs> Got him. Um. <clears throat> so what are your guys' plans for the uh, day? Well, I, I bet Aurora's probably gonna go see the go to the library, right? I'm going um, library, probably going yes. to the library as well. I, uh, library trip. Yes. Well, I already right. have a map to it. I got my route. You Google out. map. You map quested it. <laughs> I did a map quest and I printed it. Theon, what are your plans when we get back to the prime material? Um, try to stop that rip. In the middle of where I grew up, and everyone I knew was dead. Where did you grow up? I grew up in Delaste, uh, the capital city of Kor. Great. Part of it's here. Yes, um, but any any I, if there is that archive is uh, here, I'd like to personally spend some time looking into the um, arcane abilities that I could possibly tap into to try to close that thing. Of course. So, I'll be hitting the books there in that uh, regard. What about you guys? What's your (coughs) intention? Library montage, library montage, library library montage, library montage. Oh, I've got things to do. (laughs) (laughs) Okay. I don't want a montage though. I have to ask librarian questions. Are yes. there are there help? I don't I don't know the Doom hmm? Desk system. So. <laughs> <laughs> that was created in, in hell. In hell. <laughs> <laughs> no, in hell they use the Library of Congress. Yeah, it's the worst. Ooh, that's, yeah. The worst. It's just nothing. random. <laughs> yeah. Actually, something you guys don't know about Ira, he can't read. Oh no! What no. up? <laughs> what up? I'm Ira. I'm 19, and I can never learn how to fucking read. I'm 1900. <laughs> I can I only a read abyssal. <laughs> uh, are there hell pastries? There are hella pastries. poke around. Hella f- yeah, but the, the jelly on the inside, though, is like really hot. So <laughs> you're going to burn boiling. your mouth no. every time. Jalapeno. Make jalapeno pockets down here. Yeah, like, <laughs> yeah they're pastry hell pockets. pockets. Hell pockets. <laughs> don't, don't go to the library That's what they yet. should be called. Okay, we will, we will wait. I read to everyone, don't go to the library yet. You have to pee. I've had hey, a lot hey, of emotions. Not in the jacuzzi. Go outside. Can I get a blueberry jalapeno? Yo, uh, jelly filled donut. Like, the like, fuck are we like, like I, custom me, order here? Uh, right, right now, for yeah. me, John. <laughs> 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 Why, yes, of course. We're, 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 we're making like some real like custom menu today. Yeah, I, yes. say, are, I mean, one of you splashed quite a bit of cash for your room, so that may be uh, a little I, more splashing I, cash. Uh, hi, I'm adventurous. It's. It's, it's not jalapenos, it's but... Serrano. It's Serrano? That works. Yeah, it's I mean, not as well Jalapeno exactly raspberry that. jam is really good. Yeah. Okay, they, the sweetness doesn't quite kick off the way it does with a jalapeno, but it's not bad. You get the idea this would be torturous for some people, but <laughs> you enjoy it. Nice. <laughs> I, I grab a, a tray of pastries and take them over to Kismet's room. <laughs> okay. Our morning routine. <laughs> Sending Fenric to wake up Kismet. Theon like watch you walk out of the door and like turns to you two and he's like Where's he going? To wake up Kismet? Wait, the pastries are the only way 
that we've figured out that works. I think it's a smell thing. I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Fedric smells so good. <laughs> Make your way dunk, 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 all the way down to the first floor. <laughs> yes, because I am short legs. Yes. <laughs> uh, you arrive at Kismet's room. What would you like to do? I knock. Do no you? No answer. Is it unlocked? Is it unlocked? Nope, it's locked. No. <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't resist myself. Uh, uh, no, too sleepy. Too sleepy. Door is unlocked. I. I peek. At first, I peek. I open the door and peek in. Dark. Right. Uh, There's like a like the slit between the curtains, kind of. Yeah. Make a perception check for me, actually, as you look at the room. Do I have dark vision? Seven. Seven. Uh, <coughs> just kind of like peeking in. Like you get the idea that the layout of this room is similar to the other ones, but it's kind of hard to tell as you look around. Recon. I wrote a note, okay. and it says, we're going to the library. Okay. Are you coming? Okay. <laughs> so, okay. so I walk in, and I ask Kismet, are, are you going to come out to the library with a bunch of us? I am asleep. No answer. I tried to wake you up. How? <laughs> Hope. Well, <laughs> Roll I, for well I don't know, I don't know, I would, like, I put the pastries, like, like, by your face. <laughs> Set them in the kitchen, kind of, like, rolls in their sleep. And as they do, something slides out of the bed and lands on your foot. Oh, no! You had to climb over Is it a dog? Is it a dog? Nope. Okay. Dog. Is it Tira. It is a journal. Oh, my <laughs> goodness. <laughs> Oh my goodness! <laughs> <laughs> that is glorious. I. <laughs> oh, this is a hard one. <laughs> oh, this is a tough decision I'm going to make all of night. <laughs> yep, this is the hardest choice you have to make in the whole oh campaign. My <laughs> but <laughs> I break this good time. Um. What are you doing, Frederick? <laughs> uh, it's gonna be so juicy. <laughs> yeah. I'd like to see if Kismet stirred at all. No. Probably not. Yeah, it has not moved. I open it up to just it's, like. It's a scroll and it's written on the back side of the scroll. Like it's a spell scroll. Because oh. I don't have other paper. Yeah. Oh, fair. I just wanna read, I just wanna see if I can read like a sentence. Sure. Go ahead and make an investigation check. Turns out you also cannot. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Eighteen. Eighteen. Yeah, all right. All right. Uh, spreading. You can uh, read whatever passage you would like. Where are you looking? Top, middle. Oh bottom. shit! We're doing that. Quickest, <laughs> quickest thing possible. Like, like furtive as hell. Like, <laughs> but which, which chunk? Is it like fully open? Yeah, it's middle. just like a sheet middle. of paper. Say yeah. top, middle, yeah, middle. Somewhere in the middle. <clears throat> oh, thank God. Hey, uh, also, when the fuck is Saloon gonna fucking talk to me? Or when am I gonna get the chance to talk with her? Okay, now I'm intrigued. So really <laughs> 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 Good! You got an 18, you can let her run. Uh, Char is... Well, she's either dead or in trouble, and, like, I still know fucking squat about the Shadowfell. Also, if I can help her, I want to do that. That's entry number two. Neat. You keep reading? I'm glad to get it. I'm asleep. I'm asleep. I keep asleep. reading. <laughs> do you go to the first chunk or do you go to the next chunk? I want to go to the end. Go the end? end? The end. Ooh. Read back. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the end is the fifth entry and it says, <clears throat> I miss Virio and his stupid bird. I miss donuts. I feel like I miss home, but I don't even know what home is anymore. Is it with my mom and dad? Is it our house in Ashar? Is it the goddamn palace in Core? Can you be homesick for not having a home in the first place? And I 
wrap it up. Whoops. Place it back. I was the only one that just got Took the it. psychic blades. Back but dang. <laughs> Actually, go to Rosie. You Disney. definitely get Trevor, like, yeah. sort yes. of, like, moving around. Trevor uh, goes for pastries immediately. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> hey, well done. Good boy. Good job. No, wait, for the first time, good boy. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> shut up. <laughs> You're so tans are just rubbing you. <laughs> <laughs> you smell salt <laughs> and guilt. <laughs> <laughs> I feel guilty. <laughs> <laughs> you too. <laughs> You're just like drenched. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm going to leave him there with the note. That's why I said the note. She probably, she I love probably that the, the note asks the question. Yep. Uh -huh. Are you That's going to my room with us? <laughs> <laughs> are you coming? Come, come up if you are. God. All right. As you make your way back to the rest of the group and you prepare to head to the library or the Chimerian Archive, I should say. That's where we will take a break.
his parents Joey on a road trip. All right. <laughs> oh my God! Why can't I put this? So oh, season around. three. Yeah. I didn't know we were on season three. Oh yeah. We're streaming. Yep. How long have we been on season three? <laughs> uh, since uh, you guys defeated the uh, mind flayer. Wow. Yeah. I'm behind. I yeah. just found out that I'm in season three, like yeah. recently. I saw the folder. Down it was very like, funny. Ooh, yeah. Ooh, what's in season three? <laughs> you guys, it was like you guys are in right it's now. Literally us. It's, this is it. That now. <laughs> now is that. That is now. That's I, I watch man. myself on That's Steam. Steam. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Straight up spaceball style. Um. So, <clears throat> those of you who are going to the library. Yes. Uh, Roland, Aurora, Theon, Ira, uh, Fenric, are you going to the library as well? Yes, I am. All right. As you all begin to make your way through the city, you <coughs> head up to the quote-unquote northeast uh, around the cold trove uh, grounds, which you can see are sort of ripped from the deep bowels of the earth. You see black, craggy rocks and some still fairly well thriving uh, fungal life from the Underdark. Uh, making your way through, you arrive in the portion of the city that is <coughs> uh, made, or that is uh, from the plane of Earth. Most of the homes are very short, single story, uh, shaped from very all manner of types of stone. Uh, you see pale, uh, like really smooth pale stone with all manner of these like asymmetrical columns kind of just winding up as though they were like carved by water and you see just thick granite Flintstones-esque type houses. Uh, <clears throat> and then you see before you a large brass building. Uh, two massive statues of uh, chimeras uh, vis-a-vis uh, the uh, library in uh, New York uh, sit on the pedestals on either side of the stairs leading up into this building. And you see a sign which reads the Chimerian Archive written in dozens of languages. <laughs> I can only read one. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Which one is it? <laughs> common. It's common. <laughs> Drag. <Okay>. Yeah. <coughs> I picked up a little uh, draconic on spring break. <laughs> <laughs> uh, as you guys make your way into the building, you watch the heads of these uh, oxidized uh, chimera statues kind of turn and follow you as you walk in. Uh, and you see before you the Chimerian Archive. The proprietor, the only person in this building, uh, <clears throat> is a, an Earth Genasi. A stand about five foot six, uh, jet black skin, marbled with tiny uh, lines of gray and white, uh, kind of overlapping mainly to like the left side of their face, with warm golden eyes and bright, fiery pupils like lava. As they sort of tilt their head and watch you all walk in, you can see that like when they flex their muscles to like turn their head, you can see tiny fissures of uh, like magma like pulsing beneath their skin. Uh, as you approach, they smile warmly. Say, uh, hello, welcome. I am Archivist Tehran Examinus, what can I do for you? I need to do some research on planar portals and how to close them. They smile. Yes, of course. If you head down to the right, you'll find all of our writings on planar travels and the uh, arcanities that they are in. Nods and Theon just trudges off in that direction. He's picked up like a chai somewhere along the way as well. If you um, if you don't object, I would just like to wander. Of course, feel free to peruse our material. If you need to bring anything with you, we do ask that you uh, sign up for a library card uh, so that we can uh, 
make sure all of our materials are returned <coughs> eventually. Uh, however, we'll get to that when we need to, if we need to. So yes, enjoy uh, perusing. Are either of you searching for anything specific? Sorry, the three of you have been see you down there. I apologize. <laughs> She's like not that tall either. <laughs> okay, um, that, that makes it fine, right? Uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> legal history? Legal history. Of but you said naval history. <laughs> naval history, not that. On the earth plane. Um, I'm really into boats <laughs> now. Um, Did you hear? <laughs> Have you heard about one called the Terror? <laughs> Have you heard about this? That I have. I'm sorry, are you casting a spell? I'm not even there. <laughs> there. Uh, oh, oh, yeah. rolling, like, what the fuck? Was <laughs> and suddenly Anne shows up in the nine house. Legal, legal history? Of the, yeah, of the hills. Of the hills. Um, yes, absolutely. Uh, you can find the legal branch of the library back over uh, to the far left. You'll you'll know it when you see it. It's, yeah, it's boring. All of the old, fun. dusty, leather bound. Is Ira trying to like Thanks. figure out a way to get their house back <laughs> from the rebels? From the bad, from the bad <laughs> businessman who wants to turn it into a resort? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I won't sell. <laughs> <laughs> I won't stand. For I need this. to turn it into a ski lodge. <laughs> this is the A plot now. Aren't yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, Forget this Bane stuff. Let's. Uh, <laughs> my life. Gotta beat him movie. in a snowboarding we gotta, competition. We gotta beat capitalism. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> My God, who's he? Hmm? Who's he? <laughs> the worst. <laughs> I'm just imagining a D and D like Mel in this book. Who me? <laughs> my name. <laughs> What's my name? Is it? <laughs> uh, and the two of you. Do you do you have any books on uh, Ilmot? Ilmot. An Ilmater? Ilmater? Uh, yes, um, yes, we have a disciples. section of all the divine beings. Uh, you'll find it in sort of the central portion uh, okay. of the library. <clears throat> it's uh, mostly scroll work, you'll find, um, but there should be a book or two as well. Oh, scrolls. scrolls. <laughs> Handwritten scrolls, yes. <laughs> Sorry, I almost spelled scrolls. Oh, thank you. Yeah, of course. I, I did some light like reading on handwritten well. scrolls Very good. today. Let me know if you uh, need anything. Of course. She kind of goes back to like sorting the books out and then like putting them on different carts and like as you guys are meandering around, you see her like putting these. <clears throat> the the books are like a massive collection of not just uh, Earth elemental, uh, Earth Genasi writings. It is like this place looks like it's been kind of expanded uh, recently. Hmm. So you find some like books that are of uh, anything from the writings of like, these ghostly scrolls that like seem like if you touch them they would just like dissipate into smoke <laughs> to like books that look like they were written by giants for giants. They are <laughs> massive. They look like bookshelves stacked up along one of the back walls. <clears throat> um, all right, so first, since you two are wandering around, Fenric, make an investigation check. Twelve. Twelve? Okay. Uh, you walk back and you pretty much, like within ten minutes, you kind of find the, the place that you're looking for, uh, and, like the kind of general field guide to the uh, divinities of the Elysium. Uh, plain, which is where most of the gods that you know reside. Um, what information are you looking for? Um, <clears throat> general information on him, and I guess those who follow him. Partially, sure. uh, like, partially spurred by like, what's my cool new flail? Sure. Um, but I get to do more like history since I don't really know anything about other world. Sure. Go ahead and make another investigation check for me. <sighs> Killing each other. Eleven. Eleven. Okay. It's <clears throat> it's not like you're gonna like, when you're doing investigation when it comes to reading things, I don't do it and like you find less information. I do yeah. you just take longer to find the information. So uh, looking through the books and things, you find sort of like the chapter on the big book, O oh Gods, uh, on Ilmater. Uh, 
you learn that he is a member of a sort of triumvirate of gods, uh, which involve uh, obviously Ilmater, Torm, and a third god called Tyr, who is a one-handed god. Would you say he's like a third tier god? Third tier, like second Whoa. tier god. Like <laughs> wow. Third in the triumvirate, first yeah, in our hearts. Yeah, sure, sure. <laughs> what was the second one? That was Torm. Dan or Lower. T O R. I know. I was. It's contagious, actually. I, it's I felt bad. <laughs> I was like, this is how everyone feels when I make a joke. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Um, you <clears throat> understand. You kind of learn that his followers are usually less prone to, like, the frontline battle of Torm. Like, Torm is sort of more of a god of, like, you know, <coughs> soldiers and, like, you know, bravery among comrades. And Tyr is more inclined to support those who are, like, the, like going up against impossible odds in combat, like one person versus, like, a dragon or something like that. Um, Ilmater is sort of the, the healer of the group. He's sort of the... He takes on the burdens of others uh, as they come to him, and a lot of his followers, like often <clears throat> in some of his very reclusive temples, uh, are known to like take on these big sacrifices for other people. Like if they have a uh, incurable disease or something like that, like they will occasionally take on that disease on behalf of Ilmater and send the person on their way. They. <clears throat> will like sacrifice like a like some of the more extreme ones like will sacrifice like a limb and like rematerialize it on the person who is missing one. They are very much like self sacrifice is their main credo. Any other information you're kinda of looking for? Is there is there anything about the foil of pen, pendants in there? Pendants? I would say yeah. Uh, with even with an eleven, you can kind of <clears throat> find depictions of it uh, throughout uh, Ilmater's history. Uh, every it's it's very large stints between people. Uh, Five hundred years or so is like the shortest gap you find, uh, but they are people who have risen, risen up excuse me, uh, against like massive threats to the world and after standing up to these threats they have often just sort of taken up monastic life or kind of faded into obscurity somewhere in the history books they don't, they don't kind of parade around as heroes of the realm once they've fulfilled their destiny, they often have just they they fulfilled their purpose, the reason they were given the flail, and then stepped back. Well, it's the first time for everything. <laughs> it's me, your god king. Me, <laughs> 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 I can fly. <laughs> okay. All right, perfect. Ira, mm. go ahead and make an investigation check. It's going to be 17. 17, okay. You find uh, the legal section fairly quickly. Cool. Um, it stands alone, isolated, covered in dust. <laughs> no, it's very well kept. <laughs> it makes perfect <laughs> sense. <laughs> it is often, it's kind of on like little like inlet. Um, <clears throat> all the books are like very well organized, very well kept. Uh, mm -hmm. But it definitely, of the books that you've seen, like, these the uh, spines of these books do not look yeah, in any way, shape, or form battered. Yeah, sure. The dust is <laughs> they're not cracked. Yeah. <laughs> Great. Uh, what information are you looking for? So I'm looking for information on traitors and particularly any precedents for people who have deserted twice. Sure. Um. Looking through, um, let us let the 17 ride. Uh, okay. You begin to kind of flip through and like finding all of the, you quickly find and are obviously well aware of the, uh, 
the very, very complex world that is demonic law, mm -hmm. uh, and the deals made within it, and the pacts made within it, and you find very, very few instances of um, pact breakers being excused. Uh, you find one small paragraph kind of towards the end of one of your readings that states that uh, the only way to really be like absolved of like an allegiance or a pact or a deal made uh, is typically through express permission by Asmodeus or by someone acting on his behalf. Mm -hmm. uh, but these like the cited sources for these instances are like maybe two in all of demonic history. Mm-hmm. Cool. <laughs> uh, all right. I'm trying to think if there's anything else I want to sure. try to find out. Um, mm, I want to find out if what to what extent the laws of the nine hells uh, affect the prime material plane? Mm, sure. Uh, you find that that is a little bit more complicated in that the the nine hells do not have the reach nor the power that they do uh, when they're not in their own plane. Um, you, having spent a little time on the prime material plane yourself, would know that like your abilities and your infernal powers are somewhat restricted in some ways uh, when you are not on your home plane, uh, and that <coughs> that applies across the board to all demons, even like the arch devils and overlords themselves. Mm -hmm. um, certainly, there are those on the prime plane that act on behalf of their. Uh, to folk um, sure. and will yeah. like hypothetically could be sent out to do things on their behalf but as far as an actual like archdemon appearing on the prime plane to like collect it is unheard of mm -hmm. okay okay all right good amount of information uh, when you said traders, I thought you meant traders like merchants. You're looking to get a. <laughs> and I was like, what I'm sort of boring fucking law are you looking up? <laughs> ah, Trader I Joe. Exchange. Does Testra have a license to sell? <laughs> <laughs> I was so. I'm like, gonna turn that so son of a bitch in. Yeah, what the fuck? <laughs> I was like, what boring shit. <laughs> <laughs> what boring shit is John about to make up? Yeah, absolutely. John, can you tell me more about like the precedents for like the trade regulations? <laughs> sure, 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 sure. Just tell your body trade count. Trade regulations. Have trade regulations. <laughs> really, you have to legal. register. That's interesting, though. You yeah, can't see? take it back to interesting. It has to be boring. Um, I'm sorry. <laughs> Only boring here. Which realm are we supposed to pay taxes to <laughs> if we own our own business? Oh, What's also, interplanar a... trade like? Um, I have a, it's not a one more question yeah. oh. that is kind of a little bit legal, but like sure. technically... <laughs> the question <laughs> is a little bit legal. <laughs> the question is, and a little bit what illegal. realm is technically my home realm mm. at this point? It's not In my life. legal. <laughs> no, it is legal. Don't ask, don't ask Kismet. <laughs> he just talked about home realms affecting home legal. Realm. Yeah, but home is a... You would be aware being a resident, uh, that your home realm uh, in the Nine Hells is not, like, typically speaking, uh, Incubus and Succubus are not from uh, Stygia. Yeah, that's uh, They typically uh, tend to exist more so on uh, Dis, the second layer of hell. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Dis layer? Is it the Dis sexiest <laughs> layer? <laughs> No, the sexiest layer is uh, is Melbog, an endless slope. <laughs> nice. If you know what I mean. <laughs> no! I don't! No, I don't! It's I an endless it. slope, guys. Sex, sex wedge. Yeah. <laughs> well, You're making it more things nice that I don't know. Oh my 
A sex wedge is something that helps angle the body into a certain way. Like a big way. foam, like... It's ergonomic. Like, it's yeah. an ergonomic yeah. assistant. For once, it's ah, not yes. Becca okay. telling us this it's stuff. But it was Becca is. bringing it up. Yeah, it's true. That's <laughs> true. <laughs> true. <laughs> pleasurable zones. <laughs> also, for if, you're, if your joints are old and If creepy. you're like an yeah. old person, you like, still no, want to down. Come on. I don't want to imagine. Can I just one of those? <laughs> you don't have to you imagine. You don't have to. This is my line. Yeah. You would also know that Kenya is another. Okay, uh, okay. Place that they but exist. am I considered, like, at this point, um, You are sentenced to, to your punishment in Stygia. However, you are not technically a resident. Stygian, okay, yeah. okay. That was what I was wondering. And uh, Kania is care. run by Mephistopheles, by the way. Oh, okay. the, like, second that, most powerful devil. That um, dude. I and, know about him. Uh, Dis ah. is owned by, or run by Dispater, who up. is, like, the, oh, like, crazy. army builder for Asmodeus. Okay, okay. So either one of those would be where you would yeah, probably yeah, yeah. be from. All right, I'll think about it. I know what they are. No, that's Kansas. Yes, it's Kansas. <laughs> what? Nah, this literally is a sex ramp. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, is a sex ramp. So you know what the weirdest you know, thing is? Sometimes we put those under patients who don't breathe very well so that they can sit up a little bit. Yeah. Why do you have those principle. just sitting around? Yeah. We don't call nice. them because I'm an asthmatic. <laughs> that's why. That's not what they are called, though. So They're just called... That was that was Triangle literally pillows. four <laughs> things down on Reddit that like came up, and I was just like, Bowie's like oh, obsessed like with way. this spot on my jeans where Wilson was lying earlier. <laughs> Aurora, he was here. No, Aurora doesn't know anything about sex wedges either. You walk past the sex catalog uh, <laughs> section of the uh, library, look at it. Not today, and keep walking through. Uh, not today. <laughs> oh, you know what? I had dog bananas. Do you or do you pocket. not see Fenric? That's what it was. <laughs> you see Fenric, and he quickly covers it up with a like big book. Oh gods! <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's just a the bi- god. It's the, god yeah. <laughs> gods for dummies. Yeah. <laughs> That's the first one I picked out. It was great. It was bright yellow. <laughs> yeah. Familiarized me with the material in broad strokes so I could look for specifics. It was great. Um, first time reading, guys. It's fantastic. <laughs> Did you know books had, like, stuff in them? Wow. Stuff has a really good sense of smell. <laughs> He's yeah. a hound. Yeah. Like, this That's is the first time I've been a victim of it. <laughs> a victim <laughs> As you are perusing the library, Aurora, has anything caught your eye? Um, can you list off some of the sections that I'm walking past? <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, you walk past, like, the large section in the center, which contains a lot of writing on the divines. Um, mm-hmm. And it contains Fenric. And contains okay. one Fenric. No, I'm not interested in that. <laughs> <laughs> Always <laughs> doing a color by number gods book at this point. <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> and I'm having a blast. <laughs> yeah. There's like the PBS TV is on. It's kind of like just a like show. college. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, oh, you slapper. walk past kind of like a large just like, like college collection of um, biologies of different kinds, uh, okay. both uh, creatures oh. that are native to the nine hells, the realm of uh, the primaterial plane, the plane of Earth. Uh, the abyss, things like that. Mm-hmm. Um, you find a very large section that is just full of arcane writings. Uh, you recognize some of these books as being like the different schools of magic uh, that you would learn uh, mm-hmm. as an arcane caster. Um, the large compendium of spell books uh, that sit in this area as well. I'll go into that section. All right. I like reading about spells. Yeah, it's 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 kind of like your it's it's uh, what is it? Air mall for like spells? Like you're like looking at this. Sky looking, mall. Sky mall. Thank you. Yes, air mall. Air mall. You know, air mall. Uh, but you like find like you know, so close. level so seven and level eight right. spells, which are like way beyond your capacity to cast mm-hmm. right now. But you're just like, God, someday. <laughs> Wish. Yeah. <laughs> I used Literally. to do magic that was useful and. Yeah, we didn't level. even get past fifth level. 
I mean, I you, we were level tens before. Yeah, but fifth the level spells. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. I see. You're saying eighth level. Everything yeah. spells. was like level almost spells. god tier spell casting. Oh, okay, yeah, no, that's. Uh, I was basically. thinking you were saying <laughs> spells that level eight people. Things that let you like alter the, the existence of like a city. <laughs> I don't know if I, well, if Aurora wants that kind of power. Kelly, <laughs> Kelly doesn't want that kind of power. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Kelly's like, too much. Too, that's too much. As you're walking through this section, though, you do find some, like, schools of magic that you're not familiar with, however. Um, specifically, uh, one seems to have a lot of writings that have been, it looks like they're actually in the process of being written. Uh, and you find them signed off uh, by uh, Terrain Examinus, the archivist, uh, who sort of like sees you <laughs> looking over the writings and uh, pokes her head around the corner and says, Finding anything interesting? Um, I am, in fact. Could you maybe help explain this? Um this school of magic, I have never heard of it before, and I, you know, I'm very studied, and I feel like I should have... <laughs> I'm really fucking... Smart. I'm really, really intelligent, <laughs> and I typically, I, I guess I thought I was familiar with all the schools, and uh, apparently there's something I... Oh, yes. Uh, well, there, there are several schools of magic that have been sort of cultivated outside of your... Uh... <laughs> oh, why? Oh, 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 <laughs> That's the worst... <laughs> Why would you do this? That's what I feel whenever you put that fucking frog near me. I'm physically three incapable tiny of watching little frogs that. in my pocket earlier today, and all he has done is like <laughs> suck on my pocket. Suck on my pocket. It's such a good, like, comeback. Did you say mixtape? Suck on my pocket. Sex tape. My mixtape? Suck on my pocket, name of your mixtape. Good one? <laughs> I'm really sorry, Anne, but so that was also hysterical. Right. No, I'm so sorry for myself. Um, yeah. Ah, uh, yes, this is a school of magic called Onomancy. Leave me alone. <laughs> Shh. You in the legal section. <laughs> Don't mind the book hound. Uh, he really likes them. Uh, onomancy, which is a study of names of things, like the true names of things, in order to bolster or extort the spells you cast. You look into the the power of names. I myself am a fairly accomplished Onomancer. I was the uh, chief uh, archive, well still obviously the uh, chief, chief archivist, but I was the chief researcher for Onomancy on the uh, plane of Earth before we came here. Oh. And, uh, How long ago was that? Probably three, four years ago. What, um, when you were brought here, did you try to leave? We were one of the first people sort of moved here. Uh, there are a few of us who remain uh, from the, the ship. The, sheer power required to do a planar shift of that magnitude uh, did quite a bit of uh, damage to us, uh, but we've... Sorry, I... Uh, what was your question? <laughs> I, I, I asked if, if you specifically had yes. tried to leave when you arrived here. Um, we obviously had some confusion when we arrived here and we spoke to uh, Belial, who was in charge at the time. Uh, since then, Fjern, Fjern has taken over, but uh, yes, to answer your question, Broadstroke, yes, many of us wish to return home, but we were told that there's no longer a home to go back to. 
there is a lot of um, shifts occurring in the in you know our normal realm, <laughs> the Earth realm. I don't know what they're called. Primal? No. Uh, material. Plane. Material plane. Okay, sorry, I didn't know the name of my plane. That's something <laughs> I would have known. I don't even know. Maybe a pilot is there. <laughs> <laughs> I don't um, even know my own phone number. <laughs> we actually, me and my um, companions did witness one of the areas of this city that's now, we witnessed it being moved, and it was quite a sight. Yes, it can be overwhelming when a new portion of the city has arrived. It takes a toll on the populace, but um, I guess we've just sort of grown used to it here. Um, I don't know the purpose behind them gathering these fragments of the planes, but for what I can tell you, we've been treated fine since we've arrived. We've been allowed to live our lives as best we can. Um, they haven't explained to us why we don't have a home to go back to, and I've appealed to the courts of Fierna several times to try to gain an audience, but it's very difficult unless you know someone on the inside. Mm -hmm. Well, there, there is something, you know, it, it'd be, obviously it would be very important to know why they're doing this, but there also is something kind of beautiful about all the mixture of, of uh, you know, peoples and architecture and knowledge and everything being gathered in one place. It's... However, I hope that it doesn't have any ominous... It's been enlightening. Motivation. Yes. It's, uh, it's been a very large learning experience. If you go to the north end of the city, even there's a chunk of Elysium here. Hmm. Which oh. is mind-boggling. Like, there are some gods just several miles away from here. And it's, it's nuts. <laughs> Um, sorry, but back to Onomancy. What, uh, oh, yes. did, was there something you wanted to know about it? Um, well, so you said it's about, you know, knowing the true name of something and being able to, is it like using that knowledge to, to draw power from it? To draw power in several ways. Uh, you, when, when you extract the name of something, you are able to cast spells and use the resonance of the name of that creature to enhance the things that you do to it. You can cause it more damage if you attack it. You can bolster your own health by knowing another creature's name so they do less damage to you. It's, it's taking the very essence of that being and twisting, that sounds ominous, but twisting its, its name to defend yourself yeah I can you could you show me in this book I have a book up um, could you show me in this book how to or, or where you know sort of the basics absolutely where to um, begin she kind of begins to like delve into like the theory behind Onomancy and like the, the psychic link uh, that it sort of uses to establish that connection and you learn that it does less of like you know you have <clears throat> evocation magic which is you know just destructive elemental damage mm -hmm. and like illusion ma magic to like trick the mind this is more deals with like the psychic damage dealt to a creature by like knowing its true mm -hmm. essence and uh, she begins to go through the different resonance that you can use there are <clears throat> Uh, are uh, resonance such as absorption, which when you cast it on a creature, it bolsters your own hit points. Uh, devastation, which uh, it, like causes a creature to become confused and they have a harder time making saves against like fireballs or 
uh, saving throws, things like that. Uh, dissolution, which deals additional psychic or force damage when a spell hits. Uh, nullification, which knowing the true names of like your friends, you can end an effect on them. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, puppetry, which like kind of taps into the movement of the creature and you can cause them to fall prone or knock them backward. Uh, and finally, sympathy. Uh, you can like feel a link between you and the creature and them like being totally obscured from you does not obscure your attack on them. You could like if something was completely covered and protected from you visually, you could still like cast like one of your chromatic orbs at them and hit. Um, I, well, um, thank you so much. This has been really, really enlightening. Yes, of course. Um, I think I'm just going to continue, continue reading more about this. Is this the best book to, um, to begin with? This is sort of the general bullet points here. If you kind of want like a, a rudimentary study and understanding, she reaches up and grabs another book, which is like this black uh, leather, which has like golden letters written on it with her name kind of emblazoned. Mm -hmm. This is the one you want. I'll, I'll, uh, I'll take a look at this one. Excellent. Well, if you have any other questions about Onomancy, uh, feel free to flag me down. Oh, thank you very much. She uh, kind of goes back to her cart and like starts pushing it through the halls and starts putting more books away. <laughs> um, I am going to put on my glove of the editor uh, or the um, ten cent copy yes. copy machine. Yes. Um, and I can um, copy six. It takes six seconds per page, and I can automatically copy it. All right. Onto paper. Nice. I don't know how large this book is, but I'm going to it's begin. Yay thick, so it, it'll take some time it'll if you're going to copy time, the whole thing. But we're going to be here. I was planning on being here wanna, for a long yeah, time. You can spend your day here doing that if that is what you want to do. And as I'm reading, I mean, I'm going to be reading it as well, but I'm also going to be utilizing this glove of the editor Absolutely. and copying down this book so I can take it with me. Uh, this would also be a spot. You can definitely do this during your afternoon where if you, as a, an arcane caster, wished to uh, change your spells out mm -hmm. uh, for different spells, you can do that as well. I would like to do that very much. Okay. Do I have to do it right this no, moment, no, right this or time, like, like you mean in between? Yes. Okay. You can you can set your spells at some point. Perfect. I'm like going to. to reset my spells <laughs> and pretend like it's happening right now, but it's going to happen yes. outside of the D D. Perfect. <laughs> All right. Uh, did you have any other uh, questions? Or no, I don't think like so. That? Okay. Perfect. Gizmet and Desmond. Oh. What would you like to do? <laughs> I'm going to, uh, oh, my sticky notes on the underside of my, there we go. Uh, <laughs> what am I doing today? Pull it under his trunk. <laughs> <laughs> right, 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 right. Right, right, right. Um, I was going to uh, head over to uh, the sunken fiend in the, uh, Wobgar. Wobgar. All right. District. Um, All right. Question. Yes. I have a poorly wrought map of Jotunheim. <laughs> <laughs> Did you draw it yourself? Did <laughs> you draw it yourself? Yeah, like that. Uh, yeah, that's my inventory. Uh, what? Uh, do I know this area? <sighs> Make an intelligence check. Okay. Uh, Eleven. Eleven? You've, you had heard of Wabgar, for sure. Um, it certainly wasn't, like, one of, like, the capital cities of uh, Jotunheim, by any means. Um, but it was kind of like a, a port city, uh, sort of at the base of the mountains, uh, somewhat near the capital. Um, fairly large trade city. Uh, but yeah, that's, that's Wabgar. Okay. I will head to Wabgar. All right. Making your way through the streets, you eventually, like, <clears throat> the transition is, like, building, 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 <laughs> building, like, <laughs> massive structures, which nice. obviously remind you of uh, home. Uh, you see these huge inns, uh, 
all manner of giant kin walk around. You see some Goliaths. You see Furbolgs. You see fellow Loxodon. Uh, not packing the streets by any means, but like sort of mm-hmm. scattered. So it kind of seems like it's quote unquote the off season mm-hmm. in a town. Uh, but among those, you also definitely see like stone giants and fire giants. Uh, some in their smithies, some just moving massive loads of uh, just rock that they're going to carve into things. Uh, and you eventually uh, arrive at the Sunken Fiend. Uh, it is a, it looks like the tavern's kind of been like modified to like fit the Nine Hells theme. Like someone here has like tried to like, you know, make the best of a bad situation. Uh, and you see the like obsidian like windows have kind of been installed in this building. And like, it just <coughs> reads like, the sunken fiend and like you know like cartoonized like sharp black and red letters mm-hmm. over the doorway uh and as you make your way in you see the ceiling has been enchanted to look like a swirling pool of magma overhead uh giving the entire tavern like a neon orangish yellow glow uh you can uh, see behind the bar a very uh fierce looking uh fire giant uh woman Uh, she's, like, pouring flagons for, like, a few... There's, like, a stone giant and, like, a uh, a hill giant kind of sitting at Mm -hmm. the end of the bar. They're taking turns playing darts, which for them uh, is not so much a dart as it is just, like, looks like this just giant piece of jagged steel that's been, like, welded, like, piece by piece from several different components into, like, a long, very heavy-looking spear, and they're just taking turns hurling it into the wall. Uh, which has a like dartboard painted onto it. As you walk in the door, you see her give a nod to you and <coughs> welcome. What can I get you, friend? Oh, um, uh, do you have coffee? Of course. All right, I'll have a cup of coffee. Does it come with Kahlua? <coughs> you know, around here? Oh, uh, yes, fairly. I mean, not to Jotunheim, but to uh, uh, this, this branch. <laughs> yes, this magma, magma mation. <laughs> she starts laughing. <laughs> it's even the like the hill giant at the end of the bar <laughs> kind of like turns over towards you, like just very very hefty, thick built hill giant, like one eye kind of rolling off in the wrong direction, and just. <laughs> <laughs> And goes back to his ale. Uh, he's like, I'll tell you what, the, uh, <clears throat> the clue is on me. And she sets, like, goes to grab, like, a her sized coffee mug and then reaches down and grabs more of a you sized coffee mug, which is really, like, kind of like an espresso cup for her. <laughs> sets it in front of you, uh, fills it, and finds a, just, it's actually like a tiny color bottle. And. <laughs> <laughs> Slides it over to the bar. This this bar is like tiered mm-hmm. <laughs> for uh, the uh, various <laughs> peoples of Jotunheim. Uh, so, uh, what brings you to uh, our sweet little spot here? Well, I um, I you know just visiting our guests um, in a way, but I was uh, I was wondering actually how you ended up here. We, uh... All of these people, I guess. Uh, we're not... A lot of us were just at work when it happened, uh, but it was just a day like any other day uh, when all of a sudden this weird feeling just sort of... Everyone felt this sort of, like, sinking in the pit of their stomach and the sky got dark and we heard some screaming from the far end of town, but we didn't really see what caused it. We just heard this screech from something overhead, and when we came to, we were uh, surrounded by a bunch of uh, these little devil guys, and they told us that uh, this is our, uh, our new spot more or less, and we can go about our business as usual. Uh, 
been a while since then, but um, would you would you know how long exactly? <sighs> Maybe two years. Same time as mine, mathing. Thereabouts. Okay. Yeah. So, um, I might have some bad news. Uh, are you aware that this small little civilization of Jotunheim might be all that's left? What do you mean? Um, our world was kind of destroyed. Kind of. Maybe. I skadoodled. How? Oh. How do you mean destroyed? Was it an attack? Or? Uh, yeah, it seemed that way. Uh, by, uh, by a uh, ball? Am I saying that right? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> ba- ball. 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 I, uh, do you know anything about the people who run this joint? Um, I know that it's a. Uh, a uh, demon named Fierna who's taken charge somewhat recently. Uh, no, no, not not her. I think it's her her fiance's father. Her Asmodeus? No, no. Wait, her father? Belial? <laughs> Belial. 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 Those are two different people, I think. Yeah, I think so, too. <laughs> but I'm not sure. Is it Baal or Belial? Belial, Belial is Fiona's father. Uh, Baal is one of the three. One of the three. But, like, they're not Belial's related. Is their no. Ship name. No. But Baal comes here sometimes. Yeah. But he's not related. Not related. <laughs> uh, no relation. Got it. Belial, Baal, no Belial. relation. Yes. You're very knowledgeable for not having much knowledge on this subject. Just, uh, God, I feel like I'm studying for a test. Context yeah. clues, uh, I guess. Um, I know Belial, I don't know a Baal. And I'm assuming if Baal was in charge in some way, shape, or form, I would have heard of him. Yeah, I would assume so, too. Um, but anyways, it's this ball guy's fault. Hmm. Did he attack the plane? Did he um, blow it up, or like, wh- how, how do you mean? Well, he um, uh, kind of. How how much do you know about the about this person about, you don't know about our? <laughs> the inner workings of our own planet, our own plane. I mean, I I know the political system and the power system and things like that, the yeah, so general any, workings. Anyways, there's a heart that is underground. Oh, yes, the heart of your time. Yeah, yeah. and um, I think it got taken. Um, so I assume everything around crumbled. They yeah. sent me through a portal to try and find help, and... Uh, Whoops a doodle. Uh, here I am. Well, um, you're in the company of friends, at least. Yes, yeah, I've made a few. Good. Are they uh, around as well? Oh, no, they wanted to go to the library. Hmm. Yeah, I thought so too. I was <laughs> like, what? <laughs> All right. There's a lot of cool stuff in this city, but if you guys want to look at some books, nerds. Exactly. Uh, Everyone in Jotunheim's jocks. <laughs> it's all it's big like, it's jock jock and high. Yeah. Jock and high. <laughs> Swoldenheim. <laughs> the heart of Jotunheim is definitely like gotta be powered. Well, no, it's just like sounds like something straight out of Lord of the Rings. <laughs> Heart of Yodenheim. It's a kettlebell. Heart of Yodenheim. <laughs> <laughs> I would say it like It's got a convenient handle. <laughs> yeah. It was so easy to steal. How didn't we see it? <laughs> I thought it weighed too much. <laughs> <laughs> Someone really swore must have taken it. Could, could God make a kettlebell so hard to <laughs> <he> himself? <laughs> 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 oh, my God. Um, oh, dang. Well, do you... Bro. Do you 
you and your friends have some intent of stopping whoever did this? Uh, yeah, right now I think we're kind of just trying to find out some information, but it's good for me to know that uh, some of, well, our people here are still safe-ish. Um, we're the last bastion of Jotunheim, then. I guess I'll start spreading the word among the last of us, and I guess more appropriately, and then move on from there. Um, I mean, there there might be a time in which, um, you know, I might need some help. Uh, so if we want to get any type of revenge or stop this from happening to other planes of existence, so, well, not to form a rap, but we might need a resistance. What's your name? DJ Swizzle Sticks. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. Deception check. <laughs> Just kidding, it's Desmond. Nope, nope, you're, nope, that's <laughs> canon. <laughs> Well, we we haven't heard your last name well, yet. DJ so. Swizzle Sticks. <laughs> What's the J? Desmond what? James. Desmond oh, <laughs> James. It's Jordan. Desmond <laughs> Javier Swizzle Sticks. <laughs> well, that's good. Well, if there's an ass that needs to be kicked for doing this to our people, you can bet that we'll be there. All right. Well, I might uh, I might swing back like the next day or so, depending how things pop off. Absolutely. My name is Zoxius, by the way, if you need to find me in town. Zoxius? Yes. Um, why did you, uh, why did you decide to blend the decor here? Just trying to keep chin up, I guess. It's hell. It's not great, but they've treated us fairly well, so that's, I guess, the best we can ask for in this situation. Uh, None of us have suffered, it, apart from being away from home. Well, that's good, I guess. Uh, do you know of anyone who's been uh, executed in Jotunheim for breaking the law? Uh, we occasionally hear that some of the drow contingent have gotten in trouble, uh, but the executions. I don't think I've ever actually heard of anyone getting the uh, the axe or the lava more likely around here. Alright, well that's good to know. I just wanted to see in general if the laws were hard to, you know, screw up or if I'd kind of just be in the clear doing my day to day. Sure, sure. I think as long as you're not interfering with the court themselves up at the, uh, oh. she like points over like towards the raised cathedral-esque building. As long as you don't interfere up there and you don't piss off any of the demons, you are usually in the clear. All right, well, that's good to know. Um, say, um, I don't have, I don't have many monies. <laughs> could I, could I have some monies? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I've got, wait, hold, no, hold on, this stuff isn't interesting to you, um, Jesus. do, do you want to, I got a little, I got a little piece of home that I can sell you, it's a piece of jewelry, but you probably already have this, <laughs> because it's, I'm gonna go sell this somewhere else, this <laughs> is awkward. Make a persuasion check. <laughs> What is the deal? Jill Bowie. I had three dog biscuits in my pocket oh earlier my today. Like hours and like hours, hours ago. Hours ago. Mm. 17. Get him. 17. <laughs> and they aren't there anymore. She kind of turns and says, No, Tez. Two lock. And like gestures for them to come over. And you see the stone giant and the hill giant kind of make their way over. He's from home and uh, he's low on funds. What do you boys? Uh, what do you boys got on you? And the hill giant like reaches into like one of their many like large leather pouches and pulls out like 
just like this big thick stack of like sheep hides <laughs> that are like bound together with rope. Like, Will this help on your quest? <laughs> I, uh, maybe. Let me <laughs> sets it down as like as tall as you. <laughs> All right, I might need a tarp. <laughs> a tarp? Uh, I couldn't give you the bag if you want it. I guess. I mean, I just need something to drag that with. Yes, sure. Uh, he picks it up and puts it back and sets it down next to you, and like it's essentially like the size of like a chariot, like behind you that you're just gonna be pulling. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, I get it. Um, That's good. Then uh, Tulog, the uh, the stone giant, like looks a little bit more skeptical of you, uh, and he kind of like eyes you over. Make a general charisma check. Oh um, I can see him eyeing me over. And uh, at that point, I am going to uh, cast um, Enlarge on myself. Okay. To make myself... To make my dick bigger. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> make myself very big. All right. <laughs> Uh, how much bigger do I get? Yeah, from medium to large. I go from medium to large, so it doubles my size in all dimensions. I'm probably like 14, 15 feet tall. All right. 15 feet tall now, and Jump. my weight is multiplied by 8. And so that is all. Kind of very so it's not just, well, so, so you just... Oh, just grow up and like, instead of them like looking down skeptically, like you're like looking them like eye to eye now, and they... <laughs> they like just clap you on the shoulder and they reach into their robes and they pull out this very small intricate coin purse and they <laughs> pop it open and reach inside and they hand you a a pearl that you would probably recognize as being one from your home realm they're like this almost blinding silvery light uh and they hand it over to you and say, spend some time with this. And it will uh, <coughs> help you with any fights you may get into. Uh, and you can add a pearl of power to your Ooh. inventory. Yes. PP up. Oh, thank you so much. This is, this is truly a blessing from the All Father. Yes. Um. I, I, I will. Uh, I'll let my friends know that I don't have to. I guess ask them for money. <laughs> <laughs> it's always an awkward conversation. I, Almost as awkward as asking strangers. Yeah. <laughs> no, well, you know, the worst that happens is you all say no, and I go on with my day. That is but true. If I ask my friends, then. You know, you don't hear the end of it. Right. Or they become concerned, and I don't want them to worry. That is also true. So, welcome the All Father steps, my friend. Oh, will do. Uh, well, take, take care. Um, I, as I leave, I'm gonna grab the dart and I'm gonna try and throw it. All right, make a so, ranged attack. <laughs> I'm gonna try and be impressive. <laughs> is this a thrown weapon? Yes. Uh, just. General javelin, so plus dex. You can use strength if you would like. No, I'm gonna definitely use. <laughs> Neither of these are good. Okay. I'm not good at either of these. Also, I'm not proficient with javelins. All right, perfect. So, oh, that's a hot six. Oh. You pick it up and feel the weight of it in your hand, and you, and it just sticks like somehow, like almost 90 degrees. It flies away and just sticks into the wall. The uh, <laughs> the stone giant and the hill giant just start laughing their asses off. I I did not look to see where it stuck. <laughs> I just turned around. It and walked away. Oh, and I turned around over your shoulder. <laughs> yeah, just what? into the wall. And uh, Zaxius is just. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> All right, I, I grab the hides and I and I start pulling them out with All a little right. bit le- like a little more ease, at least for the next minute or so. Or yeah, I was gonna say at nice. your current size, it's it's not nearly as difficult as it would have been. Mm-hmm. Uh, making your way back out, is there anywhere else that you would like to go? Um, I guess I don't wanna. I need to sell these hides, <laughs> <laughs> so I'm gonna move some goods. All right. Um. I'll go to the, the raffle wraith. 
Sure. All right. Moving from the giant district of Wolgar, you make your way through the... Uh, <laughs> Dragging the huge bag. Yep. Uh, make your way up to the northwestern portion of the city, and it is spooky here. Ooh. It is tall, <laughs> slender towers. They seem to be just misshapen with just general age. Uh, black ash just seems to coat all of them. And just sort of a fine mist kind of swirls around the ground here. Uh, and it's quiet. Too quiet. Too quiet. Well, that is going to be immediately interrupted. <laughs> by clomp, clomp, clomp. <laughs> dragging well, through that. That was like you had a boom box over your shoulders. <laughs> 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 DJ Swizzle sticks his head. <laughs> <laughs> here to say that I'm rapping in a giant way. Uh, you don't say no. anything giant, do you? <laughs> <laughs> you, uh, you make your way through this uh, portion of the city and you see that this... Uh, Why? The <laughs> denizens of this area are not um, what you would call alive. Um, they are just like shadows of people, like wraiths. Like you'll like walk and like you'll see like four or five people like on your left, and like as your vision shifts, they just disappear. Weird. Like maybe you like take a corner and like there's one standing there. You just like walk through it and just <laughs> reforms as you pass. <laughs> I, 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 I turned towards him. I was like, don't need leathers, huh? <laughs> <laughs> this is kind of a bad place to sell leathers. Uh, we're making your way through. <laughs> you do come uh, up to a very uh, large, <laughs> very large building. Uh, kind of looks as though it's one of like made from like the older stone in a cemetery kind of like that's just weathered smooth very very old carved rock and as you make your way into the door you do see a sign uh hanging above which reads the wrathful wraith and you see a counter and you see just rows and rows of shelves which look like they have been very picked over Ring the bell, and you hear this, <sighs> and you see the sand and dust, like on like the other side of the desk, begin to form up into this uh, humanoid figure, and they say, "Welcome." What? Welcome. Oh, thank. Ah, uh, what with it? To the wrathful wraith. Thanks for having me. Uh, what can I do for you? Well, I think the better question is, what can I do for you? <laughs> <laughs> I've got Ryan, some did high... you ever work, before we get into this, have you worked for Cutco Knives? Just check. <laughs> <laughs> Continue. <laughs> I've got these lovely leathers, hauled all the way from the realm of the giants. So like across town? Yeah. <laughs> That is correct. <laughs> That's a long walk. Yeah. And a big stack of pelts. It is, isn't it? It's very <laughs> impressive. Um, <laughs> what do you say today to a great deal on pelts? That depends. <laughs> What's the deal? <laughs> What's, What's the deal? The deal? <laughs> What's the deal with giant pelts? <laughs> well, the deal is that you would buy them from me. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> we do offer that service. Yeah. Is so, that a service? Buying kind stuff. Kind of. <laughs> Taking so, stuff. Buying, selling, and trading. Perhaps I could trade you this for gold. <laughs> <laughs> so you were saying for gold. <laughs> you did it too. How much did you have in mind? Four gold, four gold. Five gold it is! <laughs> <laughs> That's a ludicrous amount. Um, 
I don't know what's the going rate for these bad boys. I slapped the hood of the <laughs> <laughs> dust. dust. Kind of <laughs> Recently acquired dust. Yeah. <laughs> kind of dragging it through. Uh, I could say I could uh, take these on for um, 60 gold. I would like to counter that with the fact that this is... Um, and I start blowing my trumpet really loud, <laughs> like burr, 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 burr. <laughs> a fire sale every three months. Go for at least eighty gold pieces. Make an insight check. Oh my fucking god! What is this happening? <laughs> insight uh, check. Insight? Yes. Uh, I'm good at that. Twenty one. Oh. He is taking you to the cleaners on that deal. <laughs> Like, I'm getting screwed You are up. getting fucked um, for that amount of gold. What about 80? <laughs> <laughs> Still very fucked. Like, oh. Very well, 80 gold it is. Did I say 80? <laughs> <laughs> it's your lucky day. Because for one more zero, you could give me 800 gold. <laughs> All right, make a uh, persuasion check. <laughs> God, I knew it was coming. It was yep. so good. Ooh, Ooh, that's pretty good. Uh, 22 total. 22. Okay. All right. Roll, roll, roll. You vote. 7.50 and we have a deal. That's drive a hard bargain. <laughs> a little bit. This guy went from 60 to 750. Multiplied it by 10 real fast. there. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, this actually happens when you put a zero at it. <laughs> That's true. Yep. That uh, is how numbers work. <laughs> um. Hey, you know what would happen if you put another number at the end of that? What? Would it be an appropriate price? If you make another eight. <laughs> Wink. Wait. I don't understand. Boob. Boob is eight oh. zero zero. You just called him a boob. <laughs> 800 gold and 8 silver. That sounds like a good deal. Worth it for the joke. <laughs> I require uh, about 42,000 <laughs> and 69 gold. No. <laughs> That's insane. <laughs> I don't even have that much gold. <laughs> I know someone who does. Well, it's equatable to souls, but... <laughs> <laughs> That's the exact price in souls. Uh, but a bargain it is. Uh, you can go ahead and add 800 gold and 80 Jesus. silver to your inventory. Nice. That's awesome. Jesus, God. All right, I would be interested in buying some wares. What do you have? <laughs> Got some cool new pelts. Sorry. Say that again. Or did, what else? Wait, sorry. Do you have something that I could buy? What do you have? I've got these lovely belts. <laughs> oh, those are nice belts. I Available for 900 gold. <laughs> I who do not have All gold. the way from Yodenheim. <laughs> I don't have that much this money. Guy. I've got Damn 800. <laughs> I could cut you a deal, I suppose. <laughs> <laughs> just buy and resell it. Like, yeah. go store to store. This is them for 12 hours, just back and forth. <laughs> it's like that episode of SpongeBob where they trade the dollar back yeah. and forth for the chocolate. <laughs> oh, my God. Ah, uh, my goods are somewhat, uh, Well, my inventory's been sort of run over since the, uh, recent incursion. Well, I say incursion. The recent uptick in business from the uh, material plane that has arrived. Uh, my stores between them and the drow standing army that lives here. I've been pretty cleaned out. I've got really mostly just the basics remaining. Well, that's fine. I just thought I'd ask. Is there, is the material plane just preparing themselves for something? Uh, they mostly just sort of seemed to be, uh, Hey, we're in hell. Let's get what we can get uh, until further notice. That makes sense. So mainly panicked, uh, understandably. Yeah, that makes sense. Sorry. 
please share with the whole class. Nope. <laughs> There's some disrespectful patrons in this establishment. <laughs> Those laughing shadows. <laughs> Larry, Amanda, zip it. <laughs> of course, it's Amanda. <laughs> Outside the city, perhaps if you were interested in going delving out into the uh, Rend Peaks, you could run into some merchandise there that might appease your appetites. Oh god. <laughs> Alright, that sounds cool. I get bored here for like two days, I guess. Sure. So, anyway. Well, if anything else comes in, I'll be sure to. Um, Sell it. <laughs> yeah, that sounds about right. I'll let you know when I this get some guy. more belts. Bye. Goodbye. And he just disappears. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of pictured him just doing that, like walking away. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he does the stair trick. <laughs> <laughs> Spooky. <laughs> Kismet. It is 2 p.m. The sun has finally begun to melt. <laughs> 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 you know where you're going. <laughs> um, eventually, uh, you are awoken by the sticky slurps of Trevor's sugar-coated schnoot. Uh, oh yeah, oh Trevor no. totally ate all of the pieces. Oh he's, no! He is, he's a little bit wobbly. <laughs> he does not no. feel well. Uh, kind of... <laughs> and it's like... Ash. Sticks. And like, yeah, just... It's a bad combination of things to be woken up by. Uh, but you do see a tray with a note on it that says are you coming to the library? <laughs> <laughs> We're coming to the library. Are you coming with? <laughs> I tried. <laughs> you did. And so nobly. Yes, Fenric. It's very admirable. very Fenric. Very well. Fenric, yes. Yeah, I just squinted the note like no. <laughs> <laughs> you okay, answer thanks. the note out loud. Great. <laughs> yeah. Okay, thanks for the heads up. <laughs> Magic note. <laughs> you can reply to this message. Uh, I think Kismet wants to go investigate the Shadowfell area. All right. Probably arriving a little bit earlier than Desmond uh, would. You make your way out of the inn and... Uh, as as uh, told to Desmond, you very easily recognize the space that is the shadow fell. Uh, there mm -hmm. almost just seems to be like a you know in cartoons where there's like a like just rainstorm following one person. There's just like mm -hmm. gloom <laughs> around this area, despite being in the nine hells, and it mm -hmm. actually uh, contrasts very nicely with the neighboring uh, neighbor uh, section of the city to uh, the, the neighboring neighborhood. The neighboring neighborhood. <laughs> I, know, I didn't want to say it. I hated that I almost said it. Uh, <laughs> You see, like, these, like, glowing wheat fields and this beautiful orchard that just, like, radiates sunlight over to the right. And it's, like, the, a path diverges and it's... <laughs> yep. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, you make your way into the uh, Shadowfell portion of the city. And uh, what are you looking for? And then make an investigation check. Uh, anything r recognizable, really? Sure. I don't know. Like, I've been to the just, Shadowfell before. Yeah, just something that might catch your eye lore-wise. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Which one am I doing? Investigation. Ah, uh, yeah, investigation. <coughs> Seven. Seven, all right. Wandering. Just due to the general age of a lot of these buildings, they all look just like these dilapidated halls, homes. Uh, you do see the Wrathful Wraith, which seems to be like a little bit of like a sore thumb in this area. Um, but I hear air horn noises. <laughs> <laughs> DJ special sticks. <laughs> no. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> there's giant drag mark going through the city. Um, Looking around, though, after a while, like, you do quite a bit of... It's like when you're in, like, a major city and you, like, wander into, like, the residential area, you eventually kind of make your way back to the main track. You do mm -hmm. come across what looks to be, like, some temples of some kind. Um, they 
have a construction that is somewhat familiar to you, uh, having been to the woven temple in uh, Dunsk and the small one uh, where you met Kolkord, the Warforged, uh, mm-hmm. back in Ashar in Zadara. You find this very intricately carved, like it's not like faux, like tangled together like stone. It is like actually stone that has been carved into this woven uh, pattern. And uh, looking at it, you would probably just recognize outright that this is uh, a temple of Shar. Mm-hmm. I go straight there. As you walk in, uh, you see a few just silent. Uh, again, it is Shadows. just dead silent in here. Uh, there are like, it's not so much pews like your kind of normal idea of like a church here in the west. Uh, it's like a circular building, and then it's just one long bench that kind of goes up and around, and then in the center. Uh, there is like a raised platform uh, upon which there is sort of a a figure or a statue of two figures, uh, one of them carved from some kind of black chalky stone uh, and the other from like this like very beautiful white marble uh, that has kind of just been like covered in dust and sand uh, with age. I go to look at it. All right, as you approach, uh, you have a similar uh, experience to what Desmond had as you hear, and a figure materializes, and they are just sort of like a broken up uh, gray humanoid figure. They have these like dull blue eyes uh, that kind of rest behind this uh ashen mask of a face but you can kind of see some like clerical vestments that have materialized with them and they sort of give you a bow and say what can I do for you traveler um mm, <clears throat> want to tell me about this thing <laughs> I sisters, pointed the statue <laughs> the sisters Shar and Saloon mm-hmm. what would you like to know Uh, maybe I just like cliff notes of sure. like what's going on and like if I wanted to uh, talk to them. Mm. It has been difficult for us to commune with Shar since arriving here. Yeah, that one's not going to work out so much. However, I- Saloon is known to reside on the material plane. At least that's the last knowledge we have. We know that some of her temples are spread throughout from the north in the deserts to the south in the Vale. They have hidden temples among the mountains. We here still pay homage to Shar and Saloon since the breaking back when the material plane was created. Shah remained and Saloon fled with her creations to the new world that she had created for them. Are you versed in the history of the breaking of the sisters? Yeah, no. No. Very well. Many, many aeons ago, Sharon Saloon existed in what is now known as the Shadowfell together. They were the all powerful beings who created the life that lived on the Shadowfell. After a while, Saloon began began feeling more attached to their creations than Shar. But Shar had decided that it would be necessary to put endings on the lifespans of the creatures, that they did not become gods themselves and throw the planes into chaos. However, 
Saloon, not wishing to see her precious creations die, fled through the plains to her own. At the time, abandoned, isolated rock in the middle of the plains themselves and sprung forth life and light into them. In an angry rage, Shar sent a servant after her. One that you all know as the Raven Queen. She sent him in pursuit, sent her in pursuit to bring Saloon back, but she could not be persuaded. So, unbeknownst to the Raven Queen, Shar had sent the curse of death along with her. So now, humanity, elf kind, dwarf kind, are all burdened with death. However, there were three other servants of Saloon and Shar that they created to help defend from interplanar threats, and with the breaking of the three sisters, of the two sisters, these entities broke themselves as they were the soul and minds of the two of them poured into these three. And as the three broke, the, the fire of creation traveled here to the plane with Saloon. They became forces of longevity and creation and leadership among their people. They were the first phoenixes. And the other three, the discarded husks, were left for dead. They were found and taken by a force we do not know. We do not even know the name of it, but they began to travel among the plains, three of them. We are aware of their names. They are Mercul and Baal and Bane. They collect the planes for another force we tried to understand as best we could, but with the breaking of the two sisters, the world we lived in began to collapse and fade and die and became what is now known as the Shadowfell. The worlds separated by the two sisters have since thrived and decayed more and more. And we sit here and languish in these ashen fields that were once beautiful cities and forests that once stretch across the continent we all including our little patch here, just linger away into memory. We have the location of one of Saloon's temples. We, however, cannot traverse the plains to find them. There was another traveler who came through many years ago. A strange, odd creature. A goblin of some kind with a candle melting down their head and he helped us to uncover some texts to reveal one of Saloon's temples which sits in the glass hills of Gore. That motherfucker. <laughs> what an asshole. <laughs> oh, boy. Cool. Thanks, my dude. Of course. <laughs> Is there anything else that I can assist you with? 
Um. <laughs> yeah, maybe. I don't know. You have questions. You may return at any time. Cool. I mean, I'll be leaving, but. Fair enough. Nice to know. Um. So, like, the sister split. Yes. Oh, shit. Am I, like... Uh... So, you can't read Char. Uh, it, there's... I also don't know how to talk to her, but I used to know how to talk to her. And I don't know if it's because she's gone or what and she told me to talk to saloon and i'm i guess i'll go to this temple um am i trying to like you wouldn't know you're you're just a shadow never mind okay thanks have a good day <laughs> <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> It's just how they end conversations. <laughs> Going down. <laughs> this is my favorite headcan for like how this guy is. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, is there anything else you would like to look for in this city? Um. Nah, I don't think so. Uh. No. All right. Uh, probably just meandering back through the Shadowfell region. The end of the day comes. All of your uh, exploration and uh, newly acquired knowledge or skills or gold Ghost for some knives. of you. Ghost uh, knives. Or knives. <laughs> all of those in hand. You all uh, are fed as you return back uh, at the inn, Testrazog appears uh, towards the later part of the evening. Um, 9 p.m. 9 p.m. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 8.59, you <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> you're all up in Fenric's room eating and <laughs> music's blasting and you're like, that was not difficult to find. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you prepare for your next leg of your journey as the evening comes to a close, and that's where we will end tonight's session. We, we will be here on Saturday at 10 a.m. Central Standard Time for Level 20 Bullshit. <laughs> Sam will be DMing, and so we're going bullshit. to have a great time. It's going to be a... Someone's going to die. It's probably going to be me. <laughs> it's going to be a... Someone will die of fun. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's an aneurysm of fun. And then on Monday, mm. Eberron is back. Oh, my mm. boy. My big boy. My, my boy. horse. <laughs> my horse. <laughs> Hey, my tell it to be nice horse. to elephants. <laughs> I will. <laughs> Hashtag 2020 Listen, goals. Listen, Sweet Feet doesn't have issues with elephants. Kyle, I was like, what the Sweet fuck's that horse's her. name? <laughs> <laughs> oh, please say it. I'm like, Sweet Feet. Yes, Sweet. that sounds... Oh, I still can't believe you got That's that from so a generator. <laughs> <laughs> that is so good. Did you guys good. see that the Bim Bam horse uh, graduated yeah, early? Yeah, I did. I graduated oh, oh, college. Yeah. Graduated early. You know, Webster. <laughs> Webster. Oh, Worldwide Webster. <laughs> oh god alright well uh, thank you for watching and we will see you on Saturday ah! oh god I